Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing some uh, Pokemon MMO. This will be a fun time. Gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be with Jitch here today as well. Um, last time I had a, I tailed off. Did uh, Jitch had to leave a little bit, and I was catching up with how much he got far ahead. So we're relatively close. I still have to do Sky Tower. Just get your heads up. But then we're gonna be basically side by side heading through, and uh, doing the gym. And then hopefully we get to Victory Road and then to the uh, Victory uh, Lee Four. So that's my plan for tonight. I'm aiming for. But yeah, that out of the way though. Thank you guys for coming. If you are, uh, if you're watching the vod, thank you uh, for watching the vod. It's always a good time to see. But yeah, let's get to it and switch on over. All right, there we go. Let me know if the music is a little too low, a little too high. I'll turn on a uh, Discord now here. Eek here being really difficult. Hello, hello. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh. Uh, all right, here we go. Yep, I already did my intro and everything. So where are you at right now? Okay. Um, I'm in the, my, you, how did you connect, disconnect my controller like that? Uh, sorry, I had to. I was plugging in my yeah. controller. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, I okay. have an extra port. Um, right, um, I'm in the eighth gym fighting a trainer. Ah, cool, cool. So I already did, like, uh, last time since you, when you went, uh, when you had to go, I continued playing for about, I think it was like an hour and a half. So I just, I've just finished with uh, the whole Steven thing, and I'm about to head into Sky Tower now, so. Wait, what's the Steven thing? Well, not, well, the Wallace thing, not the Steven thing. Well, Steven was there too, but, you know, I had to go into the cave I behind see... the gym. Cave behind the gym. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, this this game has some very forgettable parts to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know what you meant. Yo, there's an Apom uh, swarm on Route 118. That would be really cool if I liked Apom. I actually am going there. I like Apom. To be a very Ambipom. quick. Apom. Do you like Apom? Mm, that's uh not really a it good seems... one. Yeah, it seems like a very controversial take. Not even that controversial. Um, I think everyone just dis dis dislikes them. Oh my god. Oh, this... okay. Yeah, that's just like a universal. Like, what did you do to my boy? <clears throat> I think... What was I saying before you dropped in? I was saying that I... Don't know... I'm advertising this as the Hoenn finale. I don't know for sure that it will be. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Unless the league is like way too hard to beat that's the only thing i think that could make this not the finale yeah i i basically i have it as like on my road to victory road that's my that's my subtitle because it's that's like probably more generous yeah yeah because that, i'm not sure i mean if we get there we get there but i don't think we're gonna really like actually fully get to the top and like oh yeah we won i think we're, we're probably gonna be a no, one more episode at most See, if I not, it'd be nice. No, because I feel like this part of the game is maybe like three hours left, I think. Maybe. I, I know Wally's fight at the end of Elite Four is pretty challenging for some, so. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm I'm nervous about is I feel like I remember the end of I see the thing is I've only beaten Emerald like two times in my life maybe right 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 uh so i don't really remember the end of it very well gen 3 is such a like it's a really blurry gen to me of all the gens i've experienced three and five are the ones i remember the least makes sense yeah i mean to me i feel gen 3 like is the most familiar i, I don't know i re my memory is weird because i remember a lot of stuff from it but outside of that, I don't like. I don't think I ever really replayed the games more than like once. Like, I was always like either 
I'm going to be replaying the same game at the start of it over and over again, or I'm only going to play the game like entirely once because I'm not going to sit there and like, oh, I, I just played through a whole like 30 hour game. I'm not going to play it again. I'll be, I'll be losing all these Pokemon I caught. That's I, I'm, I really love them. <laughs> so, all right, let's catch them. I think, <clears throat> I think I've only ever played through Gen 3 on, on my channel once. Right, right. Uh, it was during a uh, time where I was living in the US, so that would have been about 10 years ago. Mm. Um, I have no recollection of it, but I remember doing it. Um, I, I, I don't know if I even finished that playthrough. I think I... If I recall exactly what I did was I, I always got like the first game, and then I got the... The third game that they release, you know, the Emerald. I would, I was always get re uh, Ruby, and then I would get Emerald. So I have two playthroughs usually, like personally. So I think that's why I have such a memory, even though they might have changed it, you know, from game to game. But for the most part, it was always like the same strokes. Also, I caught yeah, one of the eight I... palms here. Oh, nice. I um, I think I. Think had ruby first and i must have beaten that at some point and then i got uh uh what, what is it um sapphire yeah that's the one i got sapphire i remember buying sapphire i think it was one of the first times i had like the money to buy a game for myself and then it's weird i have emeralds i, have but I don't strong. really remember yeah it's like i have such fond memories of like getting ruby and then playing ruby and having so much fun with that like i don't really like it's weird because i don't know why i had so much fond memories of it because it's for the most part i just felt like yeah it was good but it's like i remember g going to getting the game and being like oh my god this is so cool the kate the cart is so cool to see through it's red it's awesome <laughs> You know, it's just the child meant wonder of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Very similar experience. Because I, I think I mentioned this in this playthrough. I got Ruby through uh, kind of scamming someone I knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and then, like, not too long afterwards, I got, like, money. I think it was for my birthday. I think it was, like, one of the first times I had, like like, money to spend. And I bought, I remember very specifically, I bought Sapphire and um, Metroid Zero Mission. Oh, it was the, the new release, so it would have been Zero Mission. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, I remember being like really proud of buying those. And I remember going to uh, McDonald's afterwards. And I think I recall almost accidentally leaving them there. Oh my God. Like in a bag. Um, but I, I obviously I didn't. Uh, I still have both of those cartridges to this day. Nice, uh, nice, nice. But I, I, the thing is, I don't like. I remember that, but I, if you were to ask me, like, if I remembered any experience from playing through Ruby Sapphire so, or Emerald or even Omega Ruby, I have like no memory of any of them. So here's <laughs> here's a, a fun question I should ask: When you play the games, how did you normally play them when you were younger? Like, what do you mean? like, How? were you, were you playing them like laying them on, on your bed? Did you play them like, like laying down stuff like that? Like, or were you like sitting down in a chair playing it? Stuff like that. Um, I think I used to play it like in my living room with like family around and like the, the TV on and stuff and just kind of like. Which I, I mean, I did mention before, I, I never used to play games with the sound on. Right, right, right. So because, really like, why. one of the uh, interesting things, like, as a, like, a sort of science-y thingy, is a reason why a lot of people can remember Pokemon and their names so well together is the fact that when you're playing a Pokemon game and you're looking down at the screen... Your brain has a sort of connection of connecting those better when you're looking down at the game. Uh, 
for whatever reason, I'm not sure, and it's in the, uh, it's within the same part of your brain where you can connect faces and people's names. <clears throat> so, uh, in the same uh, way, your knowledge of Pokemon, like, I'm really good at naming Pokemon names, but I suck at naming people and the names together and putting them together. So, Pokemon basically completely took over that part of my brain. But depending on how you a person is in how you like play the game it might not be remembered at all which is why it's like i mentioned that because if you might have like not much memory of it that could be possibly why like just the situation you're in of like oh you're always going back and forth with family members or any of that nonsense or like you're paying yeah, attention I, to the tv I, I guess the best i could tell uh if i tried to remember is like I probably just didn't pay like that much attention like it was kind of like a thing i was doing whilst also yeah it makes watching sense tv or whatever so that's probably why i just don't really remember this region that well because i genuinely the thing that like confuses me is that i, I don't really remember the remakes either yeah <laughs> i don't know why that is but i guess maybe it, it's just a matter of length too like it's been there's also really not long since i've played for I think for one of the other reasons is, for the most part, there's not too much crazy stuff happens until like the very end. So you're really most of the game is like you're going through a route, going through a route, going through a route, going through a route. And for yeah. a lot of other games, it's like oh something unique happens. There's a little, uh, you're chasing around with, like a Pokemon in uh whatever the one forest in Johto. Or you're going through and you're seeing these like a dance, or you go into this burned tower. Here it is, you're really just you. You find a submarine maybe in a building. You you go through and you go up a mountain. There's an ashy area that's cool, that's unique, but really nothing too crazy that like sticks in your brain. And that most probably like what uh, in the past you said. Oh, I love the uh, hidden 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 buildings and such. Like that's probably like a that's a unique thing that in me core memory. Oh, that's really cool. I remember that. It's really awesome. So it's like mm. you only really remember those sort of things because that they connect to you. And so the whole game is sort of like, eh. Well, there you go. It's like it's because the game itself wasn't really holding within the memory of what you found interesting. I uh, I must admit, as I've just reached him, I remember being very confused by one. Yeah. I remember that. I remember being like, wait a minute, that's not who was at the end of this. Yeah. Very, uh, <clears throat> like, huh? Like, wh who are you? Yeah, like, who is this guy? I, I There was something, uh, I think it was in, where was it? I think it was in the Vinemon Discord. Someone posted a picture of, like, they're basically using the exact same color palette as uh, Steven's. And slightly yeah, different. Yeah, I saw that. It is, it, it is funny because, yeah, I mean, I understand like, oh, palettes, they have a limited palette selection, but I'm pretty sure the sprite, they just literally just like duplicated the sprite and modified it slightly. I think I just lost my septile. Oh, shit. But yeah, that was funny. I got two A-pomps. I remember, so. like, okay, I think maybe I never finished my Pokemon Emerald playthrough that I did about 10 years ago because... I remember fighting one the first time in my life and thinking, wow, this guy is so easy compared to Wallace. I uh, think I have the same memory as well. Because that was like... But I don't remember my previous playthrough if that was a, like a consistent thing or if that was like a one-time feeling. I think they, they nerfed him heavily and because they probably had people like, oh my god, I can't believe how st hard Steven is, blah, blah, blah. And and then they're like, okay, so we're gonna ch since we're changing him out, let's nerf his move set, make it completely different. That's my assumption is what they probably did. And then they basically buffed Wallace as a champion because people really felt like he was a champion. Champion. I forget who was the champ. No, Steven was the champion in the previous game, right? Or in you know Ruby Sapphire, not previous. I want to say it is ridiculous how many times i've been frozen in pokemon compared to any <laughs> other pokemon game in my life yeah they uh they love their freezing they have definitely like increased the odds of that i don't think they increased the odds i think it's just the 
there's more Pokemon with it, and I the AI sort of prioritizes it. All right, so let me see. Where do I go from here to get down to Pacific Log or well, the the tower, I should say. Why does my controller keep disconnecting? Um, I need to go right. I should oh. use repel. Do I have oh, any that's repels? Not good. Yeah. yeah, that's not good at all. Oh, what happened? Shit. My um USB port on my Xbox controller, uh, it doesn't like click in. It's just kind of like slipping in. Oh, uh, it's it's you basically it's being it's overused in a way. So it's now it's just um yeah. Might have to get you yeah, to get a, a a replacement cord or just a new controller entirely. Um, I think I have like another controller around, so I might see if it's the controller or not. But the yeah. DualShock 4 tends to work with most things on PC now, doesn't it? Uh, for the most part, yeah. We'll give that a try and see if that's any better. Yeah, that that is pathetic. It literally just slips right out. Hmm. Yeah, I still can't believe how nice this UI looks still. Uh, it's the cord. Um, it was the cord, okay. <clears throat> yeah, my cord is, uh, it's like, I've just noticed it's, it's a, a very classic thing that you get with those type, type A, I can't remember, the micro USBs. Right, oh, I hate those ones. The, yeah, where they, like, start to, like, kind of point a little more downwards. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. Um, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to quickly find a cable, so I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. I definitely have an extra one somewhere, so I shouldn't be too long. All right, sounds good. I'll be uh, taking on this Gyarados here. Um, he took my one of my Deli Bird, sadly. Rest in peace, Deli Bird. Got my Alpha Azumarill. So, this should be good. But yeah, since I'm uh, trying to find Sky, uh, the Sky Pillar, I think it was, or Sky Tower, um. To get rid of Quaza. This will give me some time to uh, catch up and uh, do the gym. I think I'm that gym should be easy. Because I have a, a bunch of, like, I have two electric types. I have a Snorlax with Beefy Boy. I have my Alpha Azumarill now. Not really good against Ice types, but will be decent uh, just for later. And, of course, I have my Deli Bird as well. Technically, I have, like, two weaknesses. Well, is it two weaknesses or is it... Well... Wait, what is my, um, ghost score? Is he flying? Yeah, he's flying. So technically I have one, two, I think three, three, maybe four weaknesses. So I might have to reconsider actually now that I think about it. But I think I should be able to hold well. And Snorlax and Raichu generally I feel will be pretty decent. But yeah, it's like. Once I do that, though, um, I'll take down that, and then we'll we I think we just basically head to the uh, Victory Road, which will be generally decent, I feel, because with Victory Road in uh, is I think it's relatively short in this gen. I think there's some trainers, but I think it's almost like uh, you go through, you go up, and then you're right there. Either that, or I'm confusing that with Gen Four's Victory Road. I remember either one of them are it was like completely like either too hard or too difficult and i can't remember which but yeah but yeah this is this is gonna be a whole bunch of uh okay i'm back XP. yep welcome back I was just talking about i uh. couldn't remember if victory road was very short in this gen or was that gen 4 is victory road because I recall one of them was like super short, and I can't think of which one it was. I think it might have been four. Right. Because four is like, <clears throat> it's like held together by like, um, how incredibly like cave centric that genre, that, that genre, that region <laughs> yeah, is. Gen was, yeah. Uh, so I think they made it kind of shorter because you were already dealing with caves so much. Right. Maybe. Maybe. 
I'm trying to my PlayStation controller for this instead because it would definitely be a lot more comfortable. Oh God, five uh, tentacles. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, cool. Yeah, this actually feels a lot. See, the thing about the PlayStation controllers is they have a really nice D-pad. Yeah, like they do. A lot more than the Xbox One. I I feel like I have a mixed relationship with uh, PS like PlayStation controllers. Like I liked them for a while, but then I got really used to like like a lot of the uh xbox one xbox controllers and then i started like getting back into like nintendo controllers for a bit with the the joysticks at the bottom and i'm like i, I don't really know which one i prefer <laughs> it's like yeah i, I kind of get what you're saying especially Wait, because different controllers nintendo have no controllers with joysticks at the bottom uh i have an 8-bit do a 8-bit do controller oh, which is okay. yeah I, com I completely forgot that controller existed yeah like i love that yeah thing. But it, basically, that's like that's basically the um, the Nintendo like Pro controller. Basically, it's almost exact same, but like way better quality. I feel. See, I've only heard Vinny talk about them, and he sounds like he has a very bad time. V with them, Vinny breaks though. every single controller that he has. He he broke an Xbox controller somehow. He broke a Sony controller, and then, and then an Ape Do broke somehow. Okay. I, I don't I don't understand him. Oh, I mean, okay. Yeah, it's like, well, I don't know. It's like recently it was the, the bottom of his left joystick somehow <laughs> broke off on his 8-bit do. Yeah, I remember hearing about that one, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, how? How, how does that work? <laughs> uh, I wish I knew. Either way, they they do oh. have, uh, 8-bit do did release like a newer, I think a newer controller. And they, they're really quality controllers, like, like a lot there of the... a lot of people to swab by them. Uh, they are, they're really good and they... Like you can just you can play plug them in if you want, or you can do a uh, Bluetooth connection, which is also really nice. I uh, I love the Switch Pro controller. I I feel like I've gotten a lot of mileage out of that. Mm -hmm. The only reason I'm not using that for this, because I would, is um I don't really like the D-pad on it that much. Yeah, that's fair. Like, this is this is a very D-pad kind of like that i feel like you kind of need to use a d-pad with this game yeah i've been really mm. I, I for me i've always just like doing keyboard with this i'm, I'm yeah, just so yeah, used to it at this point too. because it's like i can just use the uh, arrow keys to move around this mouse if i really <laughs> want to like go focus in but yeah but yeah this kingdra is being such a nightmare <laughs> <laughs> yeah king i know kingdra is always was a nightmare oh, no i feel oh no speaking of nightmares uh -oh. i think i just had a moment of like ptsd because he sent out whisk cash oh, oh just... god oh no i forgot all about that dude because you you go I in with it for a specific counter of types and then you have wish cast yeah. there it's like nope, yep. I don't. I'm not affected by electric. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's uh, Blaziken versus Wishcash. You think of <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy, good luck. I'm just uh, getting some EXP off these tentacles. Still. My, my Blaziken actually almost knocked out the Whiskash, but I lost. Ah. It had it down to literally, I think, like, probably like 5 HP at most. <laughs> nice, nice. That, that came closer than I thought it was going to. Especially, like, because my Vibrava hasn't evolved, so it's kind of really useless right now. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have, like, I need an Ice move. That's something I could really use. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure if you saw, like, uh, during my last, uh, after you left, I actually, it became nighttime in the game eventually. And so I evolved my uh, Gliscor and got my uh, Gligar now. Oh, nice. Nice. So I was, I was sort of happy that I actually spent, like, a little more time afterwards. Like, oh, I finally got <laughs> it. Since, since it, by the time we went live today, it's already sun rising. So it's like, I don't think it would even be able to be possible at that point. Yeah, since it's morning time right now, so. So I'm happy about that. So now he can, uh, be cool. I might have to teach my Sceptile Dragon Pulse. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. 
It's always good to have a dragon move every once in a while. Especially if you're in... Yeah, because that was the problem, was as soon as um, Juan sent out his uh, Kingdra, mm -hmm. it just ruined everything. <laughs> yeah, Kingdras, I feel every single time I run into a Kingdra or a Cedra, it's always, like, it's unsur it's like surprisingly always difficult. And you don't expect it because I, for some reason, my memory that mod is always like, eh, it's just whatever. It's it's a forgettable mod, but no, it's it's a, it's a wall. <laughs> I think it's because you associate it with Cedra, yeah, which is not a very strong Pokemon. Yeah. Oh my god, these yeah, I, I, it is. Uh, Wands of World Sprite is pretty crazy compared to his in game. It is <laughs> that is quite the different guy. Mm hmm. They run away and I'm pop starting a off with Wall Rain. Okay, that's not good because that has an ice move. Hopefully, I get to the city and I can so I could buy a oh god, they got a trainer. Uh, so <laughs> I could get more repels. Is there a shop at uh, Pacific Log? I think it's Pacific Log, the uh, floating town. No, I don't believe there is. Ugh. So there is no repels. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I think I'm almost there. Okay. I'm still Hopefully. very happy with my uh, Alpha Azumarill. I mean, that's a big win. I know, it really is. Let's be able to get this guy. Hopefully you'll get one uh, next gen. You can find one. I think imagine it was still Alpha Azumarill. <laughs> then what? It's a, uh, imagine Alpha Sphere. <laughs> it's a big round imagining boy. Imagining it. <laughs> a uh... big round boy. <laughs> uh... The one thing I am sort of surprised that they don't have is um, Delta species. Because if you uh, Delta species, uh, for those that don't know, is uh, the when you have a Pokemon that's just specifically sort of like the newer gens, where you uh, make it a specific type, and it's only that type. Uh, but Delta species were like it was specifically only that type. You didn't transform into it or anything. That just makes me think of the Pokemon cards. Yeah, that's what the, uh, its origins from. Also, Ryan, hello. Uh, for some reason, the emote you tried to use that didn't work. Uh, that's a BTTV emote, so your thing might have broke again. No, don't say that. Yeah. Does it work on your end? Uh, in chatty it does, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't click off right now. Maybe it was just that one emote. Sometimes that happens. Like, like... Not, like, specifically that emote, but, like, sometimes, like, the first emote someone tries to use just doesn't work. Let me see. On my end. I'll send one so to you. So if someone could try putting another one in, yeah. There you go, I sent it. See if that does anything. Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, it just didn't, like, go through properly the first time for whatever reason. Yeah, it probably didn't, uh, load. Uh, like, BTTV didn't load yet, so. Well, it might be a good idea is... <clears> hmm... <throat> Does no, I don't. I don't think you actually have that. So typically, what I do is I have my stream elements. Uh, it posts that I just went live in chat. So once it does that, you could technically, if you wanted to, you could have it mentioned like a BTT emote, so that your chat would have it up with the emote. So then it would load in predetermined already. You went live with it. So. Oh yeah, maybe. Um. <laughs> this this Kingdra man, <laughs> this Kingdra. That is twice now that one has had a Pokemon survive with like one HP, <laughs> and not sturdy. <laughs> no. Ironic, consider uh, considering your infinite fusion earlier having like sturdy so often. It's like this ain't oh this ain't God. infinite. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind now is this game. That's what I say every time. This is not Pokemon. Pokemon. Come on. Yeah. Give me a break from this. <laughs> uh, I, I, Sturdy is such a uh, annoying move, especially because, oh, man, you're you're tr hoping to be like, oh, I'm making progress. I'm making a whole bunch of progress. And it, nope. 
Got sturdy. Also, I just made it to the island, I think. Of a sky tower. So. Oh, nice. So I should be able to get uh, to the gym soon. Oh, hey, there's uh, Wallace. Okay, Whisk Cash actually went down way easier this time. Gorbis. Oh, boy. It's an oh, earthquake. Yeah, Thunderbolt. Be funny if like oh there was an earthquake and then a t the TM earthquake fell. <laughs> I feel like Ditch Sturdy could be an emote. I feel like you're right. Oh, that would it be a. It comes up often enough. That would be a good emote. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure I how mean, you like, would just maybe like a Geo dude. It would need to be yeah. It need to be like something that like really oh, commonly think... has it, and I... then like it like a like a troll version of that. I think I, I I know what it could work. It's like it's a geodude, dude, and at the bottom, like it has a, a health bar, like it's just a little small, like green, the red, and it just has a sliver of red on the left to under it. I think that hmm. could work. Yeah, there's definitely something you could do there. Oh, Crawdon, that's his final Pokemon. All right. Wow, there is literally nothing in this building. Holy macaroni! This is not. Yeah, you weren't you weren't wrong when you said like they just this didn't implement yeah. anything. Oh, yeah, they did not want you, you to spend very long in there, evidently. Because the, the whole point, I'm pretty sure, was that since it was an earthquake, it broke a part of the building. So it's like... Well, they stabilized here. Yeah. That's cool. They, like, neutered it. It's so... Yeah, Geodude troll face. That's what I was thinking, Ryan. I don't know how that would work. I mean, uh, troll face is so like lumpy anyway that it would kind of work really well. Yeah, I could probably uh, throw something together. I think I have an idea, and that would be fun. What if this Crawdon used sturdy in honor of this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait! There are some tiles here that break. Wow. Yo, I beat one. Yo, nice. That was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad. So I feel my hair got like darker between like playing because the overworld looks w like way like darker red while my uh, in battles like a sharper bright red. Like what happened? I'm, I might just um, be imagining things. I'd have to catch up to you, but I don't think I'm going to be seeing you for a while. Catch up with me. I mean, I Level have to catch up with you. 58. Holy moly, why is that such a big gap? Oh no, I think you're right. I think the, the I think this is the, the region where the, the Elite Four is really long. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. Oh no, you should be coming to Zootopolis if you're at Sky Pillar. Yeah, I'm gonna be there soon. So it's like it's gonna take a little bit. Just have to uh see Rayquaza, say hi, he flies away. Have no cutscene or anything, and then we'll be good. Uh, slightly disappointing, as I named my last vault. Yeah. It was. It was so underwhelming. I was just like, oh, wow, they, they did not want to do anything with this entire <laughs> endgame cutscene. It's like, it's literally like, like, to me, it's one of the most iconic, like, Pokemon sort of game things. To me, at least. Compared to, like, older no, I, gen. I agree with that. Because it's like, you're not expecting it, especially because, like, older gen, you just had them in the overworld, and they did little fun stuff here and there. But, like, having a full, like, cinematic, which is what that was, it, it was interesting and cool. And it's like, nope, we're not adding that. It's like, ugh. It, it ruins all the charm. I don't think I've actually been around Sotopolis yet, because I'm pretty sure when I was here... Uh, all the houses didn't open because of the weather thing. Did anyone ever find out? I'm in this one house in Zootopolis where there's like three trees in front of a staircase. Did anyone ever find out what was up with that? No idea. Also, um... Because the oh. NPC in the house doesn't even mention it. I just realized they made it so you can't even backtrack out of the tower. You have to literally fly at the top of the tower out. Yep. <laughs> because I, I literally... They sure did. Went down, tried to get a way out. Nope. Yeah, you, you, you just loop back around. Ugh, God. 
Very weird decisions. I'm in that house where the two guys are like, can I see a really big C dot or a really big load head? And I'm like, here's my septile. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it sure is something, but it's not a C dot. Wow, that, no, that, that cutscene was worse than I thought. Yup, yup, it's pretty bad. At least make them like the the ground on the Kyogre shake a little and then like they literally just stuff. pop out of existence and then Ray Plaza just kind of floats upwards. Yeah. Oh my Ray god. Plaza does the uh the poochie thing from The Simpsons. <laughs> I must return to my home planet. God. That's funny. Alright, where are you? so you're in uh Zootopolis now then? Yes I am. And five magic harp just decided to welcome me. Um, all right, here we go. I'm entering now. You know what? I actually think your hair looks the same from what I can tell. It does. I think it's because I see all these, like, like I see uh, Archie or Maxi, I mean, and see his red, and then, like, it looks exactly the same in game, like, for the uh, Maxi here, huh? <laughs> well, oh, right. You can't see them. Yeah. Yeah, I still see them here for some reason. All right, what are these guys going to say? But yeah, they're like red, like very red, and match my uh, trainer sprite when I throw the ball, which is why I'm like sort of confused. Yeah, abused. right. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think I just like this lady. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. If you're born in springtime, do you like the spring? If you're born in uh, summer, do you like summer? No one likes summer. You can't convince me. Who do I talk <laughs> to? Do I talk to you, Steven? Wait, what do I do now? Oh, what's this right? Uh, the house is for the e-reader stuff, so oh, this feature is not implemented. Him. The thing is, he didn't even have any dialogue. I literally, like, I spoke to the guy in there, and he didn't even mention it. But e-reader would make sense, yeah. They really wanted that to work. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the e-reader thing. It was very um cryptic. All right, I'm doing the gym. All right, I think I remember, yeah. See, these puzzles are always fun. I always love these. Does my Squamvert have Earthquake? Because that might actually be worth buying. His Earth Power. I feel like Earthquake is a lot better. And I For did... Squamvert, which is not a special attacker? Yeah. I just did this puzzle in, like, first go. I remembered it exactly. <laughs> It's a pretty satisfying one to get done, too. Like, you do it and you feel big brain for a minute. Or yeah. At least I did. Yeah, it really is. It's really nice. <clears throat> and it's unique. I never see any fan games do anything with it, either. I feel like an Ice Beam would be good to have, too. I don't know if anything can actually learn that, but... All right. We're taking it down, Juan. Remember having a couple of the cards and not having a fucking clue what to do with them? I did not have to read it. I don't... Was the Rita, like, a widely released thing? Because I don't even remember it being an option. Yeah, the Rita, I think, was Japan only. Oh, it was. Uh, That's kind of what I figured. I think it was. That does sound about right. It does sound like the kind of, like, ambitious thing they'd go for. Release in Japan, and then that'd probably be about as far as it went. Yeah, I'm, I might have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh my god, really? Wish Cash? A hot, like super effective move on me okay um well i know i, I know them? magical leaf like really bailed me out earlier but i feel like god of war having an ice move would actually probably be really beneficial yeah there's a type i don't have and obviously this is a, these are the gens where dragon is only weak to ice so and other dragons ha but. get sturdy well, I, I have sturdy watched. now. Well, yeah, who who's getting studied? I have sturdy. <laughs> so I Fine. used it on a uh, wish cast. So my Magnazone has it. It's uh, I'd like to use the uh, the medicine to back at them. I gotta say, I should have been using this PlayStation controller a long time ago. This actually feels a lot better for this game. <laughs> All right, uh, I took out two of my electric mons, so that's fun. Uh, go Snorlax. I think you could take him. Send oh my god, I forgot Drake existed. Who the f who who is Sydney? Uh, si I remember see. Drake. Sydney He's is the, the the fire. It wasn't that the fire head guy. Yeah, he was like the weird like. 
he's he usually fire. not fire. He he looks fire. Um, oh, okay. he's on his knee, I think. Yeah, mohawk dude. Yeah. Not ringing a bell, honestly. Dark type, right? Dark. Very. Uh, Wait, why would an ice beam be good against him then? On Zen headbutt. I know you can do the Snorlax. Kingdra isn't that bad with you, against you. Yeah, I hate being that guy, but I really don't want to fight any of the wild Pokemon in the seas. So New I'm just hammer arm. Repel my whole way through. Same with the Victory Road. Oh, I have to teach something waterfall. Yep. I hate the HMs in this region. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many. Um, I'm gonna go get like some some fodder Pokemon to add to my team then for Waterfall. Right, let me heal up here. Snorlax. Let's use a Hyper. No, not Hyper. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Anyway, speaking restore. though, if my if my Swampo is a physical attacker, Waterfall would actually be more useful for it than Surf, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. yeah, yeah, because I'm pretty sure waterfalls are really strong. I think I remember using that on my Gyarados once, and because like my comments, I didn't, I didn't used to like when people would try to help me, but I remember my comments being quite persistent on like, no, you should, and then I did, and it was actually a good idea. <laughs> um, I'll get rid of dive. I don't need dive anymore. Yeah, I, the, yeah, you can yeah, the flinch, HMs. right? Yeah, flinch is good to have if that. I, I always. HMs are the things I always forget. Like I just teach them and then I forget about them. Where, where is the move deleter in Gen Three? I don't remember. I need to get rid of dive because oh. I don't need it anymore. No idea. I'm gonna Google it. I think you can. <clears throat> uh, so here's the, here's the thing. I don't. I. Uh, it depends on what you can do because I know you can remove some HMs in this game at random times. Yeah, I already tried. It wouldn't let me get rid of dive. Where are you at right now? Now? Yeah. Uh, I was in the Pokemon Center in uh, Lily, not Lily Cove. Moscow. Well, did you did you try to delete it while you were in the Poke Center? Yeah. How about if you're out of the Poke Center? Why would that make a difference? Because I was able to do it differently in a different location for some reason, as well as I was able to teach it. Uh, an, no. a, a, I think it was also it depends on if it's another HM you're teaching it or another TM. I'm not sure. But I know See, there was I a weird I think it difference. might just depend on the HM, because literally during this stream, like probably no more than like 20 minutes ago, I got rid of um, Rock Smash, which is an HM. Right. Uh, but at the same time, it won't let me get rid of Dive. I don't know what's up with that. It's okay. I'm at the move to Lita's house anyway. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Sounds good. Right. It's, uh, Ryan, I, actually, I was talking about this uh, earlier, oh. literally starting the stream with this, and I feel like you might remember. I know it was about 10 years ago, but do you remember if I actually finished my Pokemon Emerald playthrough back in, like, 2014? I'm pretty sure it was about 2014. It might have been 13, because it was around the time I was... Uh, overseas. It was like one of the like three things I remember doing a playthrough of when I was in the US because I really was not ever settling in <laughs> to, to like regularly doing anything over there. I remember I did not very regularly make content at that point in time. But I can't remember if I finished my Emerald playthrough. I don't think I did. I have no recollection of finishing it and obviously it's long since been deleted something i will not be doing anymore going forward i will not be taking any more of my playthroughs down i yeah. started like getting that urge again recently i was like man i could do my pokemon violet playthrough so much better these days and i was like no that's like a year old stuff <laughs> yeah it's just better to just leave it let it go it's like if yeah. you do revisit it you'll have two playthroughs who cares that's how, yeah, that's exactly. how i feel it you can like, or I could just do like uh, Scarlet. It could be a good excuse to do Scarlet. Exactly. Do the same game, but like the other one. Where am I? Oh, I think I went too low. 
pretty sure you didn't. No, I didn't think I did either. So I think I might have just found a cheese strat against uh, against him. I'm using fly, and usually when I use fly, they are either swapping out their mon to another mon, or they're using like rest for some reason. And so I'm essentially a guaranteeing a hit because I my deli bird moves faster than what seems to be most of their team so far. So I'm always getting a hit in, and they're always doing something that takes up that time. Hmm. AI is a little uh, dumb, it feels like. Um. Oh, barely not there. This Wolverine has no sleep talk, so it's sleep I talking. need to look up what's available here, because there are a lot of trainers at Evergrande City. I want to know what they're all, like, looking for. Because uh, I don't really remember there being anything special uh, ever grand. Not so grand. It's not even a city. <laughs> it's literally a Pokemon Center, a huge cave, and then the Elite Four, like, uh, what do they call that? I wonder what it was named in um, Japanese. Because it might have not just been had a city. It's just like probably the localizer was like, we're going to make it called a city. Okay, the people here are either fishing for, because they're all fishing. They're either looking for a Corsola, a Love Disc, or a Whalema. Love Disc. They're looking for uh, Heart Scales. Heart Scales, you're right. <laughs> as soon as you said Love Disc, uh, the penny dropped. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Okay. And plus, uh, clam pearls, they have good items to drop as well because you get those uh, the, the, those pearl things you mentioned about that one dude at that oh, one clam house. clam pearl's not here. Oh, I thought, you, well, I thought you said clam pearl. Okay. No, it was um, Love Disc. Uh, I forgot already. Corsola. Corsola. And um, Whalmer. Whalmer. Okay, that's why I missed her. It is clam pearl. I remember Wally bumping into you in this cave, and I feel like I remember him being insane. Yeah, he was. Oh, boy. Here we go. Imagine, like, they decided, you know, we're going to make Wally a little even more strong. We're going to give him a Mega Glade. Oh, they did something pretty awful. They gave him an Altaria. Oh, nice. Oh, I, I still remember Winona's. <laughs> I don't want another one. <laughs> Oh, good. An Altari with leftovers. That's awesome. This Walrein of leftovers is being a pain. Yeah, I might have to... Uh, I just lost here, it looks like. So I'm, I have to re... Uh, go back to the scratch board here. Figure out what I gotta do here. <laughs> so let me check my PC here. First I must admit, having just gotten into the, uh, Victory Road in this region, I actually... Like, something about... All the bridges was like, oh, I do kind of remember this one. Mm -hmm. so and I don't think any other Victory Road had this many bridges in it. No, I think this one's fairly short. I don't think this one's very long. Right, well, which is, is okay. not good if that's the case, because uh, I, if the level cap is anything to go off of, uh, 58 is roughly what we should be aiming to be by the time we're at the league. Let me see, what do I have in my bag here? So I have an Eevee gonna, here that's pretty high level that I could use, but I want to evolve it. I'm going to tell you this now, uh, Vod viewers, chat, everyone, everyone, Elizarin, I'm putting this on record. Uh, I'm going to attempt the league once with my team, and if it goes anything like the Johto attempt went, where I got creamed by the first guy, uh... The Johto team's coming back out for the league. <laughs> I'm busting them out again. All right, let's see. That's my champion team. They, I forget, did they ever incorporate like more That's all. evolution ways? Oh, like for Eevee? Let's see. Or for like with stones, I mean. Let me look in the Pokedex here. Eevee. Well, some people like doing the Moonstone, Sunstone thing, don't they? Yeah. Evolution tree. Here we go. 
Uh, right, no, those were daytime happiness. Uh, Glaceon, Eveon, I mean, Eveon, what? Alephion are uh, locations. Oh, Flareon cool. wouldn't be that good. Vaporeon wouldn't be that good against him. Oh my, what a, what a face-off we got here. I mean, I could God. do an Espeon. I kind of forgot. Oh my god, it finally benefited me! <laughs> I'm the one freezing the opponent. <laughs> finally. Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna do... Uh, see if I can get Espeon. Let me give it a smooth bell. He thought out in one turn. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, Gallade, by the way. He has a Gallade. I kind of forgot that that's the way they went with him. Um, who's holding my Soothe Bell? He's not been too bad so far, actually. I'm gonna say Wally has been okay. Did I sell my Soothe Bell? I hope. Oh, I hope I didn't. Is it untradeable? Oh, you might be able to sell it, like in game still though. I might have sold it. Hopefully, I didn't, but I think I did. You cannot do that now. Oh, I got studied without study again. <laughs> Why is this happening so many times today? Let me just take all these items here. I, yeah, uh, same. I have been fake studied. I think three times so far in 50 minutes. That's <laughs> impressive. That is impressive. All right, I might have to just buy a suit, Bell. How much money do I have? 26? That shouldn't um, be that much. Well, if you hold on a second, I might just be able to give you mine. Because I don't need it. If you do, that'd be awesome. Um, I just want to get rid of this Dell Caddy. Who the hell uses a Dell Caddy this late into the game? <laughs> what are you doing? Let's give my Rocky helmet to someone. To my I'm going to be real. I don't know if I just got really lucky, but Wally was a total pushover compared to the gym that just came before him. I used one revive, and it was only because he was sending out a Magnazone. I was like, yeah, I might as well bring back Blaziken. I didn't need to. I still had other things. I just thought Blaziken would make it a little a little easier for the time being. Yeah, that's uh, let's fair. Let's see. Stooth Bell. Um... Yeah, I can. Uh, let me let me let me get down to you. Where uh, are you? Uh, I think we can actually just trade in person here, or not person in uh, since we're in a group here. Let's see. Uh, community, right? Yeah, friends. Invite to link. Yeah, we Let's could do that. Me. I guess. I don't think it really makes a difference. I did send you an invite to link. There he is. I don't really think that's going to make much of a difference, though. No, I don't think so either. No, I'm going to block this user from contacting me. <laughs> um, Yeah, I think I'm going to have to actually go towards you. Otherwise, the only thing I can really do is use GTS, but then someone else might buy it. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm currently in the uh, Poke Center. Yeah, so I, I was going to head out anyway, because I did need to revive after Wally. But I'm going to tell you, he is he is just not that bad. I've never been less afraid of Wally in my whole life. Ah, here we are. Uh, I'll give you something, because why not? Um, What do I have here? What do you $3. want? $3. I'll give you something better. $3. Could have just mailed it to him. All right. That's who. Here, I want to give you something though. What's something that you really like? Um. <laughs> Suddenly, I can't think of a single thing I enjoy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll give you something that's really special. Here. Don't use it all in one area. Okay, I'm listening. If, if I can. Oh, wait. I'm dragging the wrong thing. Oh, it's not tradable. Ugh. 
He has a lot of items that are limited to that. All right, here, I'll do this one. One, yes, there you go. What is that? It's a quick claw. Thanks. I have two already, so. <laughs> well, it's another one of those items we're going to get one of in every single region. Yeah. It, it makes your mom go faster, so it's like, yeah, it's useful. Alright, uh... Yeah, this... yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just, uh... Oh, wait. Ah, of course, I removed the mom that I had heal. surf. Yeah, I don't know if that's a rule you're going to go by as well, but I absolutely stand by. Uh, if the league is just too high of a level, I am busting out the Johto champs once again. Yeah, I, I usually just like, I play around, move team uh, mons in and out if I need to. I mean, I feel like that was what we had mentioned wanting to do anyway, was like having like an all-star kind of team. I, I want to, but it's like... The end. It, it, and yeah, at the end, like I'll probably just pick one from every sort of thing that was like a staple. I feel like I've had a staple on every single gen so far. It's just that for the most part, like some mons I just swap out if they're not doing so well. Mm. But, I mean, at the moment, I wouldn't want to take anything out of my PC because for my other teams, they're all in like their 50s. So they're still a little too high compared to my current team. And obviously, I want to give my current team a fair shot at potentially showing their worth yeah that's fair <laughs> sound, sound like um is it silver from um gen 2 hm items the, cannot the, replace the, the, yeah. the rival i'll just use swagger and replace uh i feel like he's the kind of guy that would be like oh it's gonna show its worth. yeah so you can replace a, an hm with a tm but you can't replace an hm with an hm that is absurd yeah there's like no reason for that it has to be like some sort of limitation okay All this right. cable why why do you do this i don't have any other cables come on man let me try going back to my xbox control and see if that's wait does this guy not have any attacks Okay, I guess my PlayStation controller just has a really bad USB port. I think that's actually why I don't... I know. Maybe but yeah, not. I'm probably going to eventually buy more stuff that like are, is Bluetooth enabled for my things. It's, I'm getting sick with like cords and cables. Yeah, same right now. <laughs> oh my god, I don't think this one's going to work either. In fact, I think this one just... What is happening? At least, yeah, I think my Xbox. I don't. I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> I'm just uh, battling some magic weapons. Oh my god, that guy, that person over there on the right, has the cutest hat. It's like a crowbat hat. It's, a, it's like a little smile thing. Oh my god, it just turns into a clown. I do not like that. Hmm. Alright. I guess I'll just go back to my old my old controller that I stopped using because the D-pad's really spongy. That'll have to do. Let me look and see. Are, do we have any new items in the uh, shop? Let's see. This look like this so for some there. reason, right? Get a, get a load of this. I'm gonna I wanna I wanna complain for a minute. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Let's hear it. <laughs> uh my cable um my old cable has like completely loosened it just slips out mm -hmm. of like any usb port and then this one uh that's even older uh is still fine but um uh for some reason like the the because i this is why i hate micro usbs um they get like wobbly i find this happens over time like the actual usb port itself kind of comes loose from you know plugging and unplugging i suppose right as you mentioned before and um yeah it was like really wobbly so like it would it would like d disconnect if i moved around with this cable um or maybe it's just the ports i don't know so i've gone back to using this old power a 
Xbox One controller I bought a while back, which is a really nice one, actually. Uh, just It's got the same problem as the Switch Pro controller, where the D-pad feels kind of spongy. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, and uh, that has rem th that one. The thing I like about those ones, I will say, is they have like the sunken in uh, USB, where like it kind of f perfectly fits in, so it can't be wobbled. Um, so that's that's eliminated that problem. But man, that's annoying. Also, you're not gonna believe this. What? You need flash in this game. Oh my god. god. I get it, Gen 3. You love HMs, but give it a rest. You should not be getting made to have flash on your team at this point in the game. No uh, way is there a reason for I'm that. really beginning to go into, think of going into the gift shop and just buying all the, the uh, ocarinas at this point. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that we're like over halfway through this, I agree. Yeah. They go, oh my god. That one is just absurd, though. We're in the vi we're in victory road. You don't <laughs> need to be using flash. Oh man, so dumb. Like I understand a little bit why, but it's also just annoying. Like we got rid of that like forever ago. We don't need to use them anymore. Come on. PS4 controllers are notorious for loose connections to cables. Is it the USB or the actual connection falling out? Well, that's the thing. Is the first cable I was using, it was the cable just falling out because I guess the little connectors have just kind of weakened over time. And then the second time, it was that the port on the controller was just very wobbly. And if it, like, wobbled in the wrong direction, it came loose, I guess. Oh, look, sturdy. <laughs> what a oh, surprise. Lovely. It's going to be a lot of going in and out and healing by the looks of it. I just realized this is probably why there's so many people in this water. It's just easy EXP farming off these magic arps. Maybe, yeah. Because that's what I'm, I'm basically so, doing. So glad PS5 went to USB C. I'm glad everything switched to USB-C. Type-C is a lot better. I can't you wait know, to see what's uh, after USB-C. Since USB-C does have a, a few issues, but it's like generally it's... It's going to be uh, one that's going to stay around for a little while. This controller keeps acting up. I'm going to... I'm going to pair a Wiimote with my computer and use that instead. <laughs> I always thought you had to have like some kind of special adapter to connect the Wiimote to your computer because I saw people like, you know, that emulate like Wii games and use Wii remotes. I didn't realize literally it just uses like basic Bluetooth pairing. Yeah, that you can get a um, the a Wii bar. That's what I got for uh, Vin a while back for him to do that. And they're like 30 bucks. But you can also just like slightly modify. You can slightly modify your normal uh, Wii bar because it's really all it is. It's just a uh, a light detector. Yeah, yeah, it's just infrared. Mm -hmm. um, I was reading about it. Apparently, a really easy solution, which is probably what I'd do, is just turn your Wii on, like an actual Wii. Just have a Wii on in the background because it doesn't actually need to be paired with the console. Right. For it, to, it just has to be pointing at A sensor bar so it knows where something is to react to mm -hmm. i was like oh that's interesting you could also use a candle yeah yeah the candles work too you do need two candles and they have to be like kind of nicely positioned mm -hmm. um so in a way i think for me uh just having like the wii u on because i always have my wii u plugged in i still have it set up and plugged in just turning it on in the background that would then make that work. Makes sense, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think the ones that you can connect to the PC are very expensive either. Yeah, I think the one I bought for uh, bought for him was like thirty bought like thirty dollars, I think. 
It wasn't much. It was like really quick. I think they're probably even cheaper now because it's like how abundant they are and how easy they are to sell. Yeah. Well, I Same. wasted another move slot on look. Flash, so that's great. PC. So glad that my binet now knows Flash. That changes everything. <laughs> Oh, you need Rock Smash, too. Oh, yeah, you're going to need them all. Oh, yeah, you can buy a, a PC Wii bar for, like, like $12 on Amazon, it looks like. $9, yeah, on, $9 on Amazon. Yeah, they're, they're really cheap. Probably buy an even cheaper one off of, like, AliExpress or something. Actually, no, AliExpress, is, it's 26 so. Oh, really? Wow, yeah. that is surprising. Target is nine ninety nine. Don't want rock smash. Oh, eBay has I don't a want to waste any e slot. Yeah, eBay has a nice one. Uh, Four thirty-five. Okay, so you say you can replace an HM with a TM, right? Yes, I I just replaced it with like swagger. I had that was like a nonsense move. I'm gonna teach my septile swagger of a cut because you're definitely not gonna need cut in this cave. Yeah. And then I'm gonna replace swagger with rock smash. That worked. You yeah. Are a genius <laughs> it's a bit really dumb but i mean i think it's because of how they treat hms more like items so it's technically being treated as like a specific item slot i guess and you can't replace an item with another item i don't know it's something like a core mechanic that's having an issue with I agree with you ryan i like the flash doesn't even light up half the fucking screen too that yeah is I hate so it. cool just to <laughs> not only do I have to waste the slot on my moves, it barely but it works. Also isn't very useful. <laughs> Man, they could have improved this. They, they didn't could've. have to keep it this way. It didn't have to be that true to the source material. I don't even know if it's even that true to the source material in the first place for that. I swear, like, I, I remember Flash being so like, oh, it expands really big. I think it was probably the same as it is in this. It's just that obviously this is like a widescreen zoomed out perspective. Yeah. It probably on like a regular Game Boy Advance screen filled the whole screen pretty much. Right. So what is my Eevee's uh, friendship level at right now? Ice Beam, huh? That's a great move for a Claydol to have. 20%. Okay. Try not to Radical Red where it just turns on if you have the HM and just lights everything. Yeah. No, that's too convenient. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, see, see, now that's like, that's too, that's too convenient to the consumer. We do need to make it so they have to go through the menu, click it once, twice, you're good to go. No, no, no. No automatics. I really my my favorite thing about uh, Flash is uh, Gen One, where you can miss it. That yep. You could just not go through Diglett Cave and see that one guy, and then you're like, w w "What do I do?" My other favorite thing is um, in Pokemon Yellow, you can use Pikachu to keep on talking to it. You know, keep on lighting up the uh, the the map like every like a few frames, so you don't I need to get Flash. That. Yeah. So technically, you don't need to get Flash, but it's still, you know, it's still a little challenge. But you can use that just, like, cheap through it and not use Flash. Oh, my God. You know what? I just remember talking about Gen 1 Flash. There was a, a, a game I played a long time ago. It's still up on the channel. Um, it was, like, it was Pokemon 898 is what it was called. It was a randomizer wow. that had... Uh, all of the, I think it was eight gens at that point in time. Mm. Yeah, nine wasn't out yet. Oh, yeah, hundred and ninety-eight. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all eight regions randomized. Uh, you know, updated moves and stuff and types and all that. And that was uh very interesting because there was a lot of Pokemon I was seeing that I had never seen before, so I didn't know what they were. <laughs> um. Uh, I believe that was the first time I saw the. Uh, I'm assuming it's the Hisuian Corsola. 
Kursala, uh, yeah, Kursala. No, it's not Hisuian. That was a uh, scar uh, Sword and Shield. Oh, okay. I must. I, I hadn't played Sword and Shield at that point. I'm pretty sure, or I had, and I just not seen one in the entire playthrough. It was one of the two because I remember being very confused by its existence. I was like, "What is this?" And yeah. that was the starter I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, I like that one. But um, the randomizer. One thing they hadn't taken into account was um in order to get like the flash hm you have to have caught 10 pokemon right right but they had the catch that was 10 kanto pokemon oh so God. i couldn't <laughs> get flash because i was playing a randomizer with eight regions <laughs> so I, I hadn't seen or caught 10 kanto pokemon and i had to i remember i got to rock tunnel i think that's the final stream of that game i think i either gave up or i got through it and then i stopped there's one there's randomizer one i always like swear by it's an older one it's for uh pokemon emerald where it, you can have it randomized mons their types and if you select the option you can randomize the color of the mon to match the new types they have so essentially oh, interesting yeah it's a, honestly it's it's an older one people don't really ever cover it anymore because it's so old at this point but it does do everything like most mo uh, modern randomizers do. And it's really fun. And so it's like, I'm always bummed. Like people don't do that mechanic anymore. And I think some people are trying to get it ha to happen in modern gens, like randomizers, but it's like with how, it, how they do it, they work, you know, like how I've talked before, like certain trainers share palettes. It's about modifying the palettes and, matching them to the types but if that's hard to do especially in modern games because the palettes themselves aren't exactly specific to certain things there's more color variety so it's hard to do compared to older gens but i i honestly would like that's one i sort of want to revisit like i tried doing that in the past like i had a playthrough it was like called pokemon uh like it was like pokemon randomized emerald like rainbow or something like that i made like a whole logo and all that and it was really cool but yeah, it's it, it's something that I wish like more randomizers had because it'd be more fun. To, because if you're used to playing like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you already know all the Pokemon stuff. You want to change it up a little bit. You randomize their types, and sometimes if you don't know the type chart that well, you can just go with the the color changes because usually the, the colors will match what the type color is. So if they're blue, usually they're going to be either water type or dragon type stuff like that. Yeah, I did something sort of similar a really long time ago. I played an emerald randomizer, but I didn't do that color thing you were describing. But yeah. I did randomize their types, and I've never quit a randomizer so <laughs> fast in my life. Yeah, that's that's definitely like it can definitely hurt you if you don't know the type chart well, or like, oh man, is you're just this name not a very effective. It's not fun. But yeah, it's like with that helpfulness of like, oh, you see the colors, you can say, all right, this guy is probably a dragon, whatever, and you work around that. So, and I think you had, the randomizer even had an option where you can actually select the specific type of color to match each type. I'm not sure. That could just be a mismemory. But yeah. Well, I'm going deeper down into Victory Road. Ooh, nice. There's an even lower floor I forgot about. Wonder what's down there. Uh, more trainers. Ah. Uh... I wish there was a poker radar in this so I could see like what was available in each area. If there was anything like worth going for. I think there technically is, but yeah, it's not like that. You know what? I'll just look it up. Cause that that's not really. I mean, we don't have rules. We're just playing the game. But if, if there was yeah. a rule, I don't think that would be really be against it. Victory Road. Wow, Hoenn is the top result when you go to write in Victory Road in the Pokemon Wiki. Makes sense because a lot of people would be... Oh, I think I just screwed up. Oopsies. Um, Because like it's like the first one, so most people like searched it. And yeah. Wow, there is yeah, nothing fair. interesting in this cave at all. Well, I guess I'll battle all these trainers down here. This will be good. So here's what you can find inside of uh, Hoenn's Victory Road. Geodudes? 
Uh, uh, walking around, you can find uh, Zubat. Ooh, nice. Uh, Golbat. Nice. Uh, and Hariyama. Ooh, Hariyama's pretty decent. I think that's why uh, I, where I caught it. If you're surfing, you can catch Golbat. Ooh. What about if you and use uh, some... well, use hmm? lures? Yeah, I was going to say, and if you're uh, dealing with a horde or a lore, you can find um, Golbats. <laughs> if you're surfing, you can find Golbats and uh, also Gold Duck. That's it. That's all that's in this entire cave. Wow. That is... That's depressing. The Zubat Golbat Hariyama Gold Duck Cave. Rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, it's like a Pokemon rap. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's down there? Sturdy is down there. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I think you can go through Sword without seeing Corsola Castle because Alistair has it and only a gym leader in Shield. Do you know what's funny? Um, I know I did a Pokemon Sword playthrough a few years back. Um, uh, I would love to revisit that, by the way. Um, so obviously that's not on this channel. Uh, but like, I wanted Shield. And this is not me like being like an entitled little crybaby, I swear. <laughs> like, because I know this might come off. I wanted Shield. I really liked the looks of the box legendary. I think there was some good exclusives in Shield, if I remember right. I was way more interested in Shield, but I got Sword as a present for like Christmas. And I was like, you know, obviously it's, I'm thankful for it. And I still right, enjoyed right. it because it's just a few Pokemon. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, but yeah, I always wanted Shield between the two. I didn't really like uh, the box legendary for sword. Didn't quite. Something about it having a big shield main versus it being a dog with a sword in its mouth. <laughs> One felt a lot cooler than the other. Yeah, I've always I like the the sword one the most, but I mean like oh she, fair enough. Like I just sort of liked it because like the shield one looked like it looked so like cumbersome like you couldn't really move a big shield on his neck like to me that's what i my mind went to it's like yeah it's not yeah it almost reminds me of like a dog of a cone around his head oh fair enough see i like that one because i thought wow that's got a lot of character it's like a big shield yeah that's fair main but yeah. then like the 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 sword one i was like it's he's literally just carrying his sword in his mouth like they they couldn't have implemented a sword anywhere on his design he had to just be holding one in his mouth <laughs> i think you'd uh what did you think of the um what's its name uh was it chin pao it's it's the leopard in um the newest one, Scarlet Violet. Leopard. Yeah, like the white leopard with the uh the t large teeth. Um I'm not remembering this. Here, let me uh send you an image of it. It'll be real quick. Uh oh yeah, what year is I like to imagine that this is just like some kind of like gaslighting exercise that <laughs> no, no, fans no. have agreed upon. This <laughs> is not a real Pokemon, but everyone says it is, and you're now seeing if I'm in on it. Ah, uh, where is it? Uh, Chin Pao. I was close with the name. Bitch didn't do the ruins mods. Ah, uh, right. Really. Here, I'll post it in. Discord no, I just for played you. the base game. I mean, I like really thoroughly tried to explore it because it had a. All right, there it is in uh, Discord. In, uh, well, it had a big world. I wouldn't really say it had a very great world. I don't really like big open world games because I feel like they never know what to fill a lot of the space with. Um, but yeah, I think that would probably uh, satisfy you because of what you said about the Yeah, it's kind of cool. Because it has the teeth are like swords themselves. Yeah. No, I, I definitely didn't see that, by the way. I don't recognize that at all. Yeah, it's one of the uh, four legendaries that you could uh, do if you do a whole bunch of quest stuff. It was really cool. Yeah, the stakes and all that. It was really cool little quest thing. Come on, Eevee. Use your trump card. 
Oh my god, I sturdy them, but I didn't actually have sturdy. I just have one HP. I remember trying to finish the decks, and um, it was the same thing that's happened in like the last like three Pokemon games, including Vinemon. Actually, uh, I wanted to finish the decks in Gen Nine, and I played it a little bit off screen, and then I was like, ah, I got too many other things I want to do, and I stopped. Yeah, I don't really ever do like decks completion and stuff. Like, I just collect the ones that I think, oh, that looks cool. I'll do that, and then yeah. I always want to, and then I always give up. Like. 70% in. I think I might do that uh, when I play Pokemon Fusion. I'll collect them all. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, I God. Mean, seeing that one NPC that I spoke to that was like, you know, oh, I'll reward you if you just catch all of the base Pokemon in the game. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, I might. That sounds more reasonable since it isn't every single Pokemon and it's a very slim selection. In the first place, well, not slim. I, I, that's like I think he said it was. I think the NPC said it was four hundred and ninety, so it's yeah. three short of how many there were in the first four gens. Yeah, Gen four basically. So I mean, that's that's a reasonable amount. So would be fun to do. Basically, we we'll just go through every route, catch every single one in every single route, and uh, go about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the radars right there to make it easier and. Um, because you can find fused versions of them in the wild, that also makes them easier to find the rarer ones, as we've seen. Yeah, the Gengar and Mischievous, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely makes some of that way easier to come across. Also, what do you mean the goldfish one? Oh, the, uh, oh, what's his name? Chin, Chin Fu? Chin Fu? The, You're not the, talking about the little sushi guy, are you? No, no, it's, a, it's the other legendary. It's like Fire Rock? Oh, it's also legendary, right. It's one of the yeah, uh, the four. Right. Let me see. Uh, Chi Yu, that's what it is. Chi Yu. Yeah, I'll post that in uh, Discord for you to see as well. You that one I like. That Pokemon's name reminds me of uh, one Pokemon that I don't see anyone talk about that I think is really cool, which is um, the... I don't even know how to say their names. The, the like fighting type like things from um Sock and Gen throw? five. No, fuck no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, mean, the... I hate those two. <laughs> oh uh, uh Thunderous M Land Mianfu. Oh Mianfu, yeah, yeah. I they're... really like those. They're okay. They're the competitive likes them, but I don't Oh, I just like the look of them. I don't really know if they're actually any good or not. Yeah, they're basically yeah. Uh, those uh, the four legendaries are based. They're based off the the trade things. It's it's not really a a, a theory per se. It's it's more pulled from the actual like origins of like Spain, and like what uh like trying to s sending over like goods and stuff like that. And I think it's tied sort of to the silk uh, the silk trade stuff, and uh the real world. It's really cool. No, that no, it's not Burton Ernie. It's uh. <laughs> I think he was trying to guess what I was trying to. Yeah, that that was my sock them. and throw. That's that's Burton Ernie. I mean, that is Burton Ernie. It is. Thank you, Sableye, for using your red card, and destroying my Sceptile. Thank you so much for that. All right, killed an Azumarill. Oh, and I'm about to kill a how exciting! Wait, a hyper oh, I beam. I know. I think I said the name wrong. Azuril, I killed. I killed. Azumarill is out now. I'll use fly. Yeah, I remember fighting an Azuril like in this stream and thinking, why is there an Azuril this late in the game? It's because yeah, it's just because this trainer has all three evolutions. I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying enough attention to notice that. Yeah. Oh, Skarmory, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sableye Renando. <laughs> I hit the Skarmory first with Thunderbolt. It had Sturdy, and then sturdy. it used Brave Bird. <laughs> Only did like 50 HP of damage to Gardevoir, and then the recoil finished it off. Yep. That is so unfortunate for you. 
Is this... This is a different waterfall to where I would just was, right? Yeah, fuck. God, I hate this cave. <laughs> uh... Why is this lady's name in all caps? Cool trainer How Howley. I'm gonna try using ice beam. I wanna freeze some more. I'm getting studied like crazy right now. I can't believe how much this is happening. I mean, it's it's, it's called Pokemon Mo Sturdy Edition for a reason. It sure is. That's the subtitle that they they have in like small text. Yeah, it's like it's you have to read the fine print. Do you think my Vibrava will evolve by the time I finish Gen Three? I think so, honestly. Uh, if I do get a flag one, it's going to be right near the very end, and probably not as useful as I'd like it to be. I knew you guys would like the uh, the Rave Sableye <laughs> emote. Such a good emote. Sometimes I see emotes and I'm like, I'm not sure how that would work. But I think because I'm not a very active emote user myself. Mm -hmm. And then I see people using it. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Can't wait for Sinnoh where there's a lot of Geodudes. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be fun. I, I have very fond memories of Sinnoh. Except for when I try to I do a... I love uh, Sinnoh. Except for when I try to do a, a fire type only run. That wasn't very fun. There aren't. <laughs> what fire types did you use? Chimchar. And then I stopped because the first gym was a rock type. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. I, I also try. Like, that was. I was trying to do a fire type only. Um, and then I was like, okay, no, th there's not many fire types. So why don't I just make it even, like, even harder for fun? So I tried to do uh, first stage only Chimchar. And try to beat the game of Chimchar by himself. Um, oh no! <laughs> yeah, I never got. I I got my Chimchar to like level thirty and could not defeat a Rourke at all. I did not realize you were such a nihilist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my end of my nihilism at that point. <laughs> that was so bad. I was like thirteen while I'm trying to do this. And I'm like, I, I see all these challenge videos online or whatever. I don't even know how I got started this. I think I saw it. Like, this was when I was in more so the Pokemon Fusion sort of, like, like community on DeviantArt. And I'm like, I'm not even sure how I even learned about, like, challenge run stuff. But I'm like, I want to do this. I want to challenge myself. I want to do a Chimchar only run. I think it's because I saw someone say, oh, I, d I defeated all of... Uh, Sinnoh with a Bidoof and got the champion of Bidoof only. So I think that's probably what happened. I was like, yo, he did a Bidoof, I'm gonna do a Chimchar. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, that was not fun at all. Because I was grinding hours upon hours to get my Bidoof, I mean, get my uh, Chimchar to just defeat the first gym. <laughs> I never did. I gave up. Uh, escape rip Anna here because I am in danger. <laughs> I think I'm almost finished with Victory Road. That's good, at least. I'm still at the gym. Perhaps my three hour ETA wasn't too far off. Also, I love what you just said there, Ryan. Fire type only means you're allowed to use Drift Blim, Steelix, and Lopunny like Flint. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how small ant does that. Oh, God. Like, I understand, like, doing it for, you know, the content of, oh, I just did all this stuff, and I managed to go through this, and I'm like, I would just, like, if I would make it in, say, four gyms, and I take damage, well, I, and you have to restart and go through the full first four gyms again, I would just, oh, God, I would hate myself. Like, big time. Also, why sliding down these uh, the ice here? I spin. I don't think that's what happened in the original. So I can answer that question, but it's not really my bit, so... <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go Where for... do I need to go? I am so sick. You're going to hate Victory Road. I want to tell you now... 
Actually, I might. This place uh, is frustrating to get through. I might love it. You never know. Yeah, true. I mean, you can't avoid a lot of the trainer battles. They are like literally gatekeeping corners, and they're all like just out of uh, flash range. Hmm. So you will have to deal with quite a lot of trainers. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Uh. <clears throat> Of course, you need uh, really wide HM coverage. Yeah, it's always uh, annoying, but you know what you gotta do. Miss, please sure forgive me. Water trainers. Joel. Joel, who? Joel, mama. <laughs> please, if, please forgive me, Joel. I was like, oh, Who's Joel. And now I said Juan. That's what the trainer said. I'm like, geez, man, you lost, and now you want forgiveness from your, like, the gym leader? Man, how bad is he? I should beg for forgiveness from Joel, too. Nah, I'll, I'll just throw him into lava. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know whose idea that was. Actually, that wasn't my idea. Actually, I don't even know whose idea was that. Was that. It's the wind straight, son? Oh, this is him? Watch him be a bigger pushover than the rest of his family. I didn't read his dialogue at all. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> his name is Vito. That's a cool name. I veto that name. Minus two. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, I was like deciding, like, should I minus two that? Mm, sure. What is my Eevee's happiness right now? Should be relatively decent at this point. Why are you still at 20? Yeah, I don't remember it taking... Really? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't remember it taking that long, but I'm... then you go and say 20. Never mind. Like, I literally am, like, putting you in battle, and then taking you out, and then, I'll, like, we win, and then what? I just realized I said I was going to use an evolution in this in every region, and then I didn't use one in this one. And it's just now that it's dawned on me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to use one every region. It'll be great. I got to this region and just didn't even think about, like, buying one from the GTS or breeding one or anything. I just didn't get one. Yeah, I actually did have this Eevee as a spare just in case you wanted one. But, eh. Whoops. <laughs> That was a tradition that I really wanted to start. I thought it would be really cool and fun. <laughs> yeah, wow, I did not commit to that. What would I have used, though? Uh... Leafion wouldn't have been useful because I have Sceptile. Vaporeon wouldn't have been useful because I have Swampart. Flareon wouldn't have been useful because I got Blaziken. I already used Espeon. Uh, I don't think Glaceon would have been very useful in this region. I don't think Umbreon would have been that great either. Um, maybe... Maybe Jolteon? Maybe. Maybe. I, yeah, you know... I don't really feel like I missed out, to be honest. It's fine. I was better than everyone in my family I've never lost before. I've lost my confidence. Maybe I'll go home off. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, kill that dude. I ruined him. He sounds devastated. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go home. That is heavy. <laughs> and it's all my fault. How could you? Okay. Uh, useful side note, if you are trying to avoid trainers, when you reach an area in Victory Road where there's like a waterfall right as you come out, uh, if you got that waterfall, you can bypass that entire area. Oh, nice. There's loads of trainers and stuff all around, and you can just go around all of them. Because I, I didn't, and I just tried waterfalling to see like what was around there, and I was like, oh, it literally just connects around. You can fight the wind straight guy. He's in between the two waterfall things. And there's an item that I already forgot what it was. And that's it. All right. I'll try to remember that. It's the only waterfall area in the whole cave. I'm pretty sure. So that 
should help narrow it down. Okay. Baton pass over to... Also, was this right? I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure they show a clip of Steven just flattening Vito in the anime with Metagross. That guy gets no love. <laughs> you just totally ball bust him. Yeah. yeah. His, his dialogue is surprisingly heavy. Like, oh, uh, I guess I'm not that great. Maybe I should just go home. That is rough. It's a good thing most people, when they're younger, and even to this day, don't really talk to people after they beat them. To be fair, I, I, a lot of, there's a lot of like in the community is always about oh Wally and it's like, and how we he's like a very sickly kid, and so it's like you defeating him and all that and that happening is like oh my god. <laughs> are, Seriously? Are you, yeah. That's pretty early he on. Was sickly. Yeah, it was like something within like a lot of the story and like why his uh, father wanted you to go. Or uncle, or I think it was, uh, wanted to, you to watch him and help him go get better because he was always a shut in and all that. Oh no. Something like that. Hmm. Okay, I don't know whether to go this way or I'm gonna I'm gonna take the up ladder first. There's too many options being presented for different ways to go to the point where I'm running out of repels. Stop your earthquake. It is raining. Wait, are you... Where are you right now? Are you fighting Juan? Yeah. Was he giving you much trouble? Uh, one battle was annoying. And so I decided to do a little grinding here and there. And then took on some trainers below the ice. No, I'm taking them on again. the escape. I think I just found the exit. Nice. Oh, never mind. This guy just said the last stretch is so long. <laughs> I feel like an NPC saying that is a bad indicator. Juan, can you just not use items, please? You're going one on one with him, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha ha. Minus four. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's only four. I could have went higher. You were lucky. Yeah. This Vibrava has two more levels. I could just use some rare candies on it at this point, I guess. I mean, how far off is it? Uh, It would then match most of my team. Burnett would be a little behind, but I think Burnett levels faster than... No, oh, I didn't want to heal Vibrava's... Eevee. God dang it. Vibrava is a slow leveler, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Well, Evie, you're going to have to maintain and I'll have to revive uh, Olax here. Oh, never mind. There is a huge XP discrepancy between these two. My Vibrava has 75k, my Bennett has 64, and they're both level 43. So yeah, Vibrava definitely takes longer. Um, I'll use a rare candy when it hits level 44 because it's only got 1,500 points until... I wonder if there's a way trainer. to... Yeah, I, um, I did find the exit. What? I think he was just talking about in past tense. of Like, oh man, this last thing was horrible. <laughs> sure. No, you don't have to make excuses for him. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's just a liar. That too. Unless he means this double, but there's two people behind him. Maybe he meant these two are just really strong. Yeah. Oh my God, these two guys. I can't beat them. I mean, the first thing one of them sent out is a slacking, so that doesn't give me very good feelings. Yeah. All right. Which cast is I still is down. remember Norman. Yeah, Norman was definitely a uh, hassle. Oh wow, a slacking and a god of war. That is yeah. mom and dad right there. <laughs> Muscle Thunder, that's a good move. Special, um, I'll replace. May, May. I'll... Crazy that Sydney leads with a 46 and Wallace leads with a 57. Well, thank you for the heads up. Use this 57? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds fun. <laughs> uh, well, to be fair, Wallace is 
mostly water, so I mean, if you're running electric, you're pretty good. I've got a God of War with uh, Thunderbolt, and obviously, Come I've on, set live this, Snorlax. I, I believe in you. Ah, uh, Snorlax died. Snorlax didn't. They didn't him, change so. his team. I don't think so. No. Well, at least not much. Oh. Jellybird, you can do this. Ruin. Haha. <laughs> Full restore. I'll do snow escape because you okay. know. Okay. Okie dokie. Wow, that is a very disobedient little uh little slacking you got there. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. So, fun fact about this battle, if you do it as a double battle, they actually try to skill swap Truant off of Slacking. It's one of the scariest non-ROM hack fights. Oh, yeah, so the trainer in front is probably talking about this double battle. Makes sense. He didn't sense. incorporate it as a double battle, so it kind of messed it up entirely. It was a show to you, like, they didn't really care too much about the this whole region. <laughs> yeah, Hoenn has really not felt that cared about. Considering it's the second region they added and it's been in this game for over 10 years. Yeah. It's uh, very surprising how much they don't seem to have cared for this part of the game. All I right. think it was a big deal when they added it. I just don't think they revisited it and revised it at all. Mm -hmm. To be fair, I think the only reason they probably revised Kanto was because Johto meant they had to like... They like updated it to be kind of a combination of Gen 1 and Gen 2 Kanto. Right, right. Come on, Magazone. Hit through confusion. Yes. All right. One more. I know you can do this, Magazone. King drove me down. It won't be an issue. Come on. Hit through. Hit through. Hit through. Ah! Oh, another slacking. Interesting. So both members of this double battle had slackings. But one started with a slacking, and the other one had one yes. as its second. Kingdra is down. So they got two mons left. I got three mons left. I think I might be able to do this. Giga Impact. Uh-oh. Genshin Impact was used on me. <laughs> Should I oh risk? Oh my god, I just realized. Yeah, I'll risk it. Yes! <laughs> this might lose me some points, I don't know, but... uh. I just realized I have um, a two terabyte SSD uh, now, so I can download Genshin back. Oh, nice. I actually kind of enjoyed that game. Also, uh, Gorbis, if you didn't know, has a focus sash. So. That was fun uh, to learn. I, I didn't know that. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. All right. Don't use a potion, Chat. please. Thank can you. Can we talk about can we talk about the league building for a minute? Oh, is it cut off at the top or something like that? <laughs> it's just water, yeah. Wait, what? There's just loads of water above it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um one mon left. Uh they're probably gonna kill me. Well no. I'm good. Alright. I'm gonna bounce up with my alpha zoomerol. Ooh, this is going to be a long, tedious fight here. 7 out of 10, too much water. Yeah, they even put it in the in the league Let's somehow. see, how much it's does Surf do? It's not very effective, but... It might do more than what I'm doing with my other move. Well, I'm going to no. go back in here. I know that might sound very nihilistic of me, but I'm going to go back in here for a moment. What about Strength? I feel like none of my moves are doing decent strength. damage. Would be nice. There was one small area I missed in here, so I want to go back and check it. Where was it? I actually don't remember. Was it here? Yeah. Yeah, it was here. I saw a bunch of trainers, I think, and I pooped and I ran away. <laughs> yeah, pooped. Maybe not. Yeah, sometimes I do that. It's funny. Wait a minute. 
Oh my god. Huh. You can bypass a lot of this cave. Okay, if you want to skip loads of this cave, that waterfall part, when I said to go on the waterfall and go around, mm -hmm. don't go up the ladder. Go straight down past the bridge. It literally takes you directly to the exit. Oh, nice. Oh my god, you can skip most of this. Huh. All right. And here um... I thought I was about to go find something really cool. <laughs> well, it's time to fight the league. I can't oh wait. God. This wall rain is has too much fat. Yeah, that thing just eats damage. And it killed for me. Breakfast. And I was so close to winning. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to save my Snorlax for last. Um, but I can't. I need to make sure I keep him revived. I think that's what my goal, what my goal is. Eevee, what is your happiness? You're probably lower now. No, it's still 20. Okay, that's good. Um, do I have any berries that boost happiness? Oh, it's this guy. I should no. probably buy a whole bunch of healing shit here because this is are there anything? This is yeah, gonna be, be barnacles. Berries that boost happiness. Uh, all right, let me see if I could buy those. So I'd rather just buy happiness for this thing. Not the gift shop, GTS. Uh, trade, yeah, here we are. Pull Mog. Meg, not Mog. Warren and the Elite Four being able to hit Sheer Cold on most of your team because they'll be under like 53 is pretty rough. Stop, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I don't want to lower the HP stat on EV. What is a stat that doesn't really matter? I guess maybe, um, all right, here we go. Um, this modeling nature this is, is not going to go well at all. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose immediately, but I'm, I'm going in. Well, I'm wishing you luck. So oh, Nick, no, I don't um, even know what the first guy uses. Dark types. So I need to buy Agua berries. So. Agwav. Agwav. And the cheapest is a 80. Oh, starting with a shift tree. Interesting. So I'll buy like 10 of these. Alright, Eevee. I hope you like uh, berries. Huh. Okay, one down. Oh, I I, I got to remember. Oh, I got to remember right. they do heal your Pokemon in between every battle too. So I got to relax and remember that. I always forget that they do that in this game for some reason. It's I I appreciate. It's one it of the lot. weird quality of life that they do decide to add, but then like all the quality of life that they would like remove. <laughs> it feels like. Yeah. They changed it. No no no, Ryan. Uh, in the, in Pokemon Mo. Every trainer has a dynamic team where they will kind of start with normally something that has an advantage over you. So you can't like pre-prepare for what they're going to send out first. Okay, and well, Eevee. It's you... over. All right, Eevee's happiness is 100. So I just need to level it up. Do I have a your candy, maybe? No, so let me buy that as well. Uh, candy. Cheapest rare candy is 14,000. That's good enough. Except. 
It's okay. I got Thunderbolt. And we're, Use oh. your Thunderbolt. Yeah, use your Dunderbolt. Here we go. Uh, I need to go to my mail. And claim item. All right, and now I should have an Espeon. <clears throat> see, Rare Candy, where are you? Here you are. Use on Espeon. Yep, and SP uh, Eevee is evolving. Here we go. We got two more. I've managed to take down three of Sydney there we go. so far. Nice. We're off to a decent start. Confusion. <laughs> Mighty Edda. This Pokemon's yeah. never been fearful. <laughs> the Fire Fang, of course. All right, and I got an Espeon now. Wow, I can't believe you copied me. Da ha ha. I am the copyright owner of Espeon. <laughs> I love when they finish themselves off with recoil. It saves me the job. I too also like when they finish off. I love when things finish. Mm-hmm. It's always a good uh, time. All right, I think I'm. I think this will be good. Espeon now will be able to Leave handle decent, disadvantage decently. Oh, why did I do this? Oh, curse! Curse could be good All if right. I can even hit it before getting knocked out. Ooh. Because Ooh. I mean, let me compare it to my other Pokemon here. Espeon is well. I mean, I think Walrein is has a good. Wait, can I check that actually? Let me look. Wall rain. I just want to see if it gives me stat distribution of what it normally is. No, it doesn't. That's Have stupid. you watered the plants today? Oh lord. That's a throwback. <laughs> yeah. I barely survived, but I beat Sydney. It took. <laughs> Cars finishing him off, but I did it. I beat at least one person before losing. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna run with actually let me change his item. Or yeah, his item. Um, right, Phoebe. She's ghost, if I'm not mistaken. I kinda remember her. She has like a dust clops and a bonnet and you know, all that shit. Um Alright, we good. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and use Rare Candy on Vibrava. Oh boy, Kingdra. Yeah, she's going to have a Dusk Noir for sure. So I'm going to use Confusion. Hopefully I'll get a Confuse on them. No. It did decent damage. That's all I could ask for. You yes. withdraw. Interesting. Crada. Uh, doesn't affect. Just right. asked if something that specializes with earthquake is a physical. How am I making it this far into the game? <laughs> I'm gonna use my red candies mm, on Bennett so can me. catch up. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Snorlax. Okay. You're gonna be uh, uh, decent here. I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start with Blaziken. It's not a good idea. I should probably start with the type advantage, but I feel like they account for that too well, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna start off with a with a disadvantage. All right, Crawdon's down. Good. I'll have to heal my Snorlax. He's at 68. Hey Ryan, <laughs> you called it. You fucking called it. Of course she had a Dusk Noir. We should have known. This is going to be bad. Oh, boy. Oh, with leftovers. That's nice. <laughs> I'm very happy <laughs> for you. Leftovers, the bane of our soul. He right. probably has two. Don't say that. You don't need to say that. Don't. 
say that. She had two Dusclops. Well, maybe she'll have both of the things you predicted. A Dusclops and a Dusk... No, a Dusk Noir and a Dusclops with the Ebiolite. Maybe she'll have Oh, both. my God. Snorlax literally lived on 1 HP right now. You are doing God's work, Snorlax. I did not realize that Dusclops lost its ground type when it evolved. Mm -hmm. Did weird. it even gain a ground type, actually? Not I sure. feel like Dusclops ground type. I know it uses Earthquake. I think it doesn't. Let oh. me do a quick Google. I'm not beating this Dusclops, by the way. I mean, Dusk Noir. Dusk no way am I beating this. Noir. Yeah, it's pure ghost. That's what I assumed. I think it's just because there's, you assume it to be a mummy, and so. Yeah, because it is very mummy-like. I'm just used to every Dusclops ever using Earthquake a bunch. That too, yeah. And so I think I just automatically assume that it's a ground type. Uh, stop using a max potion. Also, I sort of wish they... You know how they heal between every Elite battle, elite 4 battle? They should do that after every gym battle. Just for convenience. Yeah, I, I guess why not, right? It's like it's you're saving the player time running to the back to the Elite 4 and all that. Or back to the PC and such. I'm so finished. <laughs> All right. Um, there is very little that can be ghost. You can survive this. I, I have. A, I believe in you. Thank you. My belief was held properly. Doesn't this thing have the mystery dungeon explorers to kill? Not today. And I, I love that's those his, games. That's his part-time job. Uh, He's a part-time uh, explorer killer. Yeah. This is what he does for fun. All right, wish cash is down. Nice punch. So two of my main issues are done. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if my Johto team is going to be able to beat it's the Elite Four here. They are insane. Right, I need to yep. heal up again. There it is. Actually, no, Brian, I'm going to switch. I cannot believe how well you predicted her team. All right, yeah, I'm going to switch to Magnazone. Gorbis dies pretty quickly with a, a Magnazone strike. I am I think I resist this, right? If it's water. No, it's just neutral. All right, I'm going to use Thunder. Please don't hit yourself. Thank you. Also, just to let you know, 70% accuracy moves, they'll... They, they still hit pretty consistently. It's, it's not as bad as, like, main games. Oh. Okay. Oh, come I on. saw your Sceptile and got landed. triggered. No! Confusion! <laughs> That's the reason I was Miss, able please. to survive no. him. Was, yeah, Sceptile. It all comes full circle. This is just Mystery Dungeon promo. <laughs> um, you still gotta play that. So it's such a good game. I will. I will. Eventually. Uh, well, I managed to make it through the worst of this. I got rid of Dusk Noir and Dusk Lops. All right. Walrein and Seedra. You're sending out Walrein, it looks like. Deadly Bird levels up, which is nice. Um, they might have been... Oh, fuck. Well, it's over. Fly. That actually, you know what, though? That went better than I thought it would for the team that I currently have. That definitely could have gone a lot worse. That being said, it's time to bring out the big boys. Uh, I'm going to go for, like, a hybrid team. I'm going to try not to just use... Like, I'm going to try to use some of my Kanto team, some of my Johto, some of my Hoenn. I feel like that could be fun. Um... Okay. Uh... Let's go. I feel like Sceptile's done. You're sleeping. Really good. Let's see what happens if I do a. I want to register this as my Hoenn team. Wait, I don't. Wait, can I use an item still? Yeah, I can. But I don't have any hyper potions. I only have super potions. 
So, I mean, that's better than nothing to use on my Snorlax. This would be a lot easier to do with a mount. Just Come on, sleep time. talk right, into sleep or rest. That'd be nice. So, Thanks. that right there, that's my that's my final... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Hoenn team. That's that's the ones. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 mix it up a little bit. So I think if there was two, I was gonna keep from this region. I think God of War has shown a lot of value, and I think Septile has shown a lot of value. So I think those two should stay. I feel bad because I only just got this flag on, but it's <laughs> fine. Um, okay. So let me just out some space here. So if we're taken out, I don't know. Place again was pretty good though. Honestly, I don't feel like this was a bad team. I just think that they're a little under leveled. And I feel like rather than having to like really slowly work through it, this is just a better solution. Yeah. Um because obviously this requires a grind, and I don't I don't want to grind. <laughs> yeah, I feel um, that. I feel that. We already did that. I mean that's how I was able to beat the other league, was I had grinded. Um Okay, this kind of lines up all the types that are like similar so we have a oh, i should probably do that for this row as well just just so i can like kind of i do have some similarities in my teams huh <laughs> well um all right hmm. this gliscor do anything decent against a wall rain I mean, Warren has Ice Beam. I'm flying type. I think Ice is like four times effective. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, ugh, Snorlax. Let's see what happens here. He's still sleeping. I got Hammer Arm. This do. Oh, you woke up, of course, and you used Water Pulse. Come on, you can survive this, Snorlax. I know you can. I trust you. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, I survived. Oh man, um, I I just have to I just have to send it. You used rest again. Interesting. You still there? Yeah, I'm just I'm like looking at my teams and I'm like deep think. Ah. It's like you know when you're like starting like a game of like Pokemon Stadium and you're like really thinking it over. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm not having that moment right now. I'm just like looking at everything. Like, what do I, what do I want to put in each slot? I actually feel like, um, God of War would be better fit with. Please survive this. Gengar is beyond mine. Um. I think you can. Yes. Yes. Wall rains down. Oh, now it's just Kingdra. Was actually really good. I think, well, knock on wood, I think I might be defeating them. Meeting Juan. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. It says Kingdra left. It's already had some damage in. I'll use um, Hammer Arm. Probably Snorlax will die, but I do have an Alpha Zumeral and Gligar. So, or Gliscor, I mean. Uh, I'll go into Alpha Zumeral. Who's the. God, who's the third Elite Four member? I, obviously, Sydney's Dark, Phoebe's Ghost, Drake's. Dragon. Who's the other member in that? Um, I don't know. I forget. Is it Ryan? You just wrote Glacia. Is that it? I don't know who Glacia is. Oh yeah, Glacia. Yeah, she's the ice one. Okay, we'll type. I think that's. Should I be think able that's to take yeah. That. Oh no. Um. I think this is the team I want to go with. Wait. I might trade out Vaporeon the hell? for a Hurricane Weavile, hits actually. through bounce? Oh, that's stupid. Why does this have Surf? Yeah, Waterfall would make more sense. Why does Weavile have Surf over Waterfall? Its special is really bad. Uh, 
what? Probably because I just needed something that knew surf, actually. This is, yeah, I'm probably going to die here. I mean, at least I, I see a sight. Yeah, yeah. I died. So, I okay. Well. So, at least now I know the setup works. Should be alright as a team. I just need to heal um, up and buy potions and such. Where's the mark this town? I think this is the team I want to go with. I wasn't aware we could learn surf. No, I didn't know that either until I, I came up with an option. Uh, can I learn waterfall? I can't even learn waterfall, but it's a physical attacker. That doesn't matter. That's stupid. All right. And I'm angry. I need hyper potions. Give me your best hyper potions. Nine. I don't have a water pipe then. Well, I don't really I mean, need a water pipe. I can pipe only use though. four in a battle, so let me just do four for now. I don't think there's anything in there that really water would be useful against. All right, let's try this team out. Let's bust out. Um, who do I want? One more That's revive. And by the rest of these. <clears throat> let's see how this goes. All right. Can I sell anything? What do I have to sell? Because he just frees the water and you Jesus across the sea. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Uh, sure. Hey, I didn't take into consideration what I was going to use against dark types. Uh oh. <laughs> the very first guy I forgot about. Well, Typhlosion has submission. I guess I'll PP max. I don't really use those. I'm going to PP up. That gives me a lot of money. God of War. <laughs> All right, and then I can. I started some. choking on my own rage. There we go. The spite of it. Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna start with God of War. I know it's the weakest of my team, but it has Aura Sphere. Hmm. Here, I'll buy this a revive. Oh yeah, signal beam. Good point. And another potion. All right, I think we're good. That's some foul play right there. The one thing that's helpful um, though in this battle curious. is that I kill enemy of like mons, and then they level up my mons. So it's not like I'm at a wall per se, because it is slowly advancing my mons. Yeah, yeah, because they're pretty high level though. And generally, I am, like, around their levels. It's just, like, it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, 40, um, I think my lowest level is 43 right now. Yeah, which is my Magnazone. But Magnazone itself has just, like, not been really good in this match. Gliscor See, is... what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... At least to like kind of honor my Hoenn team. This is corny as all hell. It doesn't really matter. But like to try and honor them, I'm going to try to lead with Sceptile and God of War as much as I can. I honestly just, might uh... replace Gliscor for this battle. Because he is, is... he's he's flying ground and Isis eats him alive. Have, have you thought about maybe carrying some of your previous regions? Oh, that's what I've been doing. Oh, right. I didn't know. Yeah, that's what, uh, my Snorlax is from, like, a previous gen. Um, my Deli Bird was from last gen as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I've been going Thing back is, and forth. I feel like I'm cheesing it by using these, but at the same time, I'm not that much higher level than them using these. Like, some of my team right now is level 57, but they're already using, like, level 52s, and this is only the first Elite Four. Uh, and also, like, to me, I feel like it's not really that cheesy, especially because the mons that they have, some of them are, like, literally, like, from a future gen or stuff like that. So it's like, I, I you know, you don't really have the option, for at least most mons, you don't have the options to evolve them into those future gen mons. So, and plus yeah, they have, true. like, very strong stats and all that nonsense. That yeah, you're not really all hell. You're not really looking to EV train yourself, and so they're probably all well EV trained. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, any advantage is uh, a good advantage. 
Yeah, like, I don't think this is going to make this, like, a cakewalk. I think this is still going to get tough at points. Mm -hmm. Focus Sash. Oh, baby. <laughs> it continues. I'll just probably check to see if there's items on them. Okay, I see. Um, all right. And I the mean, thing is, as well, they still have to be under the level cap for you to use them. Right. So there is also that. You aren't, like, allowed to be too overpowered. All right, I think I'm good. I, I brought my Raichu instead of the Gliscor. I'll bring Gliscor back since I like him. All right. Well, that's that one taken care of. Sydney was a lot easier this time around. He wasn't too bad the first attempt, though, to be fair. I don't think Sydney's that great. Honestly, Gen 3 is Elite 4. Very <clears throat> forgettable. They really are. I don't like, know why. I, honestly, I still don't actually know who Glacia is. I'm sure when I see her, I'm assuming, from the name Glacia. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure when I see her, I'll be like, oh, I remember her now. But, like, the only one I really remember is Phoebe. Because I remember thinking that her design for, like, a ghost trainer was really odd. I think the I main really reason get, why get is that the they've never really shown up in like the anime, for example, too much. Like I feel the other ones, they always had like a little bit of a uh, like a special moment in the anime. But yeah. I know like Drake did because I remember yeah, uh, like, Drake was cool. Drake in the anime, and I think that's why Drake is the one I remember from the Elite Four the most. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't really watch a lot of Gen 3 anime, I think I've seen like three episodes, maybe. One of them had Drake in it. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. All right, hammer arm. Wasn't he the... Wasn't Drake the, the, the token guy who beats Ash? I think so, yeah. Because there's always someone that beats him. There's also the, uh, what was his name? Uh, Brandon, I think it was. And that was the, um... What's it called? The Battle Frontier. Uh, guy. Pretty sure he beat Ash as well. Alright, wish cash. Just having a bad, a bad time. Yeah, Gen 3, he lost a lot. I remember that fondly. Never saw it, so I wouldn't really know. I guess we'll just do Hammer Arm. I'll survive a 74 HP is still I remember, yeah. um, Jesse having a Surviper and James having a Cacturn. I yeah. really liked that. That was so Those good. Those were good choices for them. All right, Hyper Potion on Snorlax. Yeah, Brandon just had Reggie's. I love that. Wait, who's who's Brandon? Uh, Battle Frontier guy. Oh, right. No wonder I don't know who that is. I've never done the Battle Frontier. Skill issue, 100%. A little. Sableye, my guy. Fuck Wobbuffet. Oh, yeah, I forgot that they said Wobbuffet. I loved Wobbuffet. Why do you hate Wobbuffet? Especially if you get... had some really cool Pokemon over the time. That especially if you get the joke of what what Wobbuffet <laughs> is, name-wise. Because it's a, especially, it specifically hits harder in Japanese. Because it's a... It's in a, a phrase that the, uh, an old phrase they, they say in comic, not comics, but in jokes, where it always would put at the end of a, a sentence to end it as a cliffhanger, or not cliffhanger, but as a hit. So it's like, almost like, um, if you say, if you say a, a funny joke or a bad joke, someone would do the, uh, the drum thing. It's basically that, but a verbalism in, in Japan. Oh, right. I didn't actually know that. Yeah, it's a little fun. I was little immediately thing. going to ask you like what what you meant by that, and then you explained it. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> glad. It's it's like why why not is time because why not is related to that uh, following that in you know in uh the same familiarity of it like oh why not why not why not. Snorlax died. Two Bennets, really. Two eh. so she had a she had a Dusclops, a Dusk Noir, and two Bennets. I'm telling you now, if Pokemon Mo could have implemented a Mega Bennet, they would have here. 
I think actually, yeah. didn't all of the Elite Four use Megas in the remake? I don't remember, but I think they did. Maybe. It sounds like they would. I mean, I uh, actually... I think I was happy that James released Weezing. That was actually a very touching moment. It's like how um, Ash uh, released uh, Butterfree to be with uh, the pink Butterfree. That was very touching. It was very sad and emotional, but touching. Hey, Same with uh, Chimeco when he released Chimeco. Beam. That was oh, well, not released. I think he sent it back to his parents. It was very. Oh, Sydney so had abs, so, right? Mega Absol goes ham. Oh, yeah, because Drake would have used a Mega Salamence. Mega Salamence is funny. <laughs> it's so funny looking. All right. Good. All right, Snorlax. Place, yeah. Hammer wow, arm, this, this wall rain. This lady still rings no bells, even seeing her now. Yeah, she's just like... You know what else it is? I'm going to say it now. Another thing that I think makes the Elite Four really forgettable, the rooms that they gave them are nothing. Yeah, they're generic as all hell. Yeah, they are not themed or, like, fancy at all. It's just a square room with a different color palette. Yeah, I mean, at least Gen 4, they actually did give more trump to them. But, yeah, Gen 3 was I... a rough state. I kind of recognize well, her sprite, but was, I really don't remember Glacier at all. Yeah, Platinum was when they gave it more a personalization. I think Gen 4, like Diamond and Pearl, it was still like relatively just color based. But Platinum is when it was really fancied. Alright, Wall Rain's down. Good. Norlax, you're killing it, bud. Glalie, huh? I gotta say, that would have been her mega then. Snorlax is like an sure. MVP. I'm still All peeved right, they uh, never gave Frostlass a mega. Yeah, that's lame. Considering they gave one to Glalie, and who who's picking Glalie over Frostlass? Well, I mean, Gen Three, you couldn't really had any choice. No All right, yes, but I mean, uh, that's not a good enough reason. <laughs> Yeah, but Oras is stinky. We don't talk about Oras. I really like those games. They still I'm stinky. I'm about them all I want. <laughs> they still stinky. <laughs> I think I prefer them to the original Gen 3, honestly. I don't know. I, I always prefer Gen 3 just normal. Just to the fact that, like, Battle Frontier, um, just generally. I've spent a majority of this playthrough saying how forgettable Gen 3 is, so I gotta say, I don't think I like it that much as a region. <laughs> Like, there's, there's issues, I, and I think Oras, I feel Oras didn't really change the issues, it just added more things alongside the issues. Which, I mean, I guess can overwrite some of it, but it's like, it didn't change the core of stuff that I never had, it, that I, that Gen 3 had. Could you stop talking in your sleep and making that hurt me somehow? Oh, I don't know. Mihawk, Baba? No, no, no. You smell. <laughs> Go on, Big Dave. It's time to bring out the big guns. Guys, Big Dave is back on stream. It's been a while, but Yo, here he is. Oh, Big Dave. Oh, I love Big Dave, man. He's just like the original Big Dave. He's just untouchable. Mm hmm. Thunder! No, oh, he didn't kill. That should have killed. But didn't. I say he's untouchable. He took half of his HP and damage from one move. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, you can ride a Latios. That was cool. That was a cool thing. And fun fact, they never brought it back for some reason. I don't get why not, but you know. My God, I forgot about the Scarlet and Violet. Yo, she has a Frostlass. Fuck you. <laughs> That's not fair. I haven't had one of them yet. Uh, Should have caught a Max Snow Run, actually. Yeah. 
But yeah, I forgot about the Scarlet and Violet Elite Four rooms. They really sucked. <laughs> room. Yeah, room. <laughs> it was a fun concept, but looking back at it, I don't like it. Um, I might have to. Mm. Okay. What's your final thing? Is that another frost lass? You do not seriously have two frost lasses. Don't you even tell me that you have two. I hate you, Glacier. <laughs> Life's not fair. I'll choose Dig. Yeah, I wish that missed by doing it. Okay. Raichu, can you do something? I don't think you can. Because, yeah. Uh. Thunderbolt? Maybe we'll kill? I don't know. No, it didn't. Dragon Pulse will do. Yeah, nice chunk. He's Thunderbolt. I again. barely survived that. Wow. That was actually kind of tough. Yeah, this is uh, challenging, that's for sure. My right. icy skills failed to harm you. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Mega kick, maybe? Alright, yeah, that didn't work out this time. Alright, um, let's see. Like that. I got down the two mons, it looked like. Still decent. I'm trying to figure out. Maybe I'll have to go through my TMs and see which moves will help in this. Never understood why a pirate captain used um, dragon types, but I like it. Because they're if pirates are fantasy. Nuh uh. Uh huh. My uncle was a pirate. Cool story, bro. True. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, doesn't this guy just have like a million Salamences? Isn't that his team? <laughs> um, let me look here. Um, I gotta bring up my trusty, handy dandy type chart because I always forget what things are with against what. Chart type ice or type chart ice. I always Always forget ask what ice me. I never forget my type advantages. That's the one advantage I have in Pokemon. <laughs> Certain things I just can't forget, and that's one of them. So, fire, fighting, rock, and steel. So, let's see. But no, I have to count because... <laughs> or what is water and ice types weak against? Water, ice types, oh, no. weak. So when you get into the dual type stuff, it becomes an issue. Oh, excuse me. You better be sorry for that. I'm furious. All right, I don't water. Really care. It's fine. I buff all the time. That was a hiccup. <laughs> that was a. That was like a hit. Bop. I'm just saying, I bub all the time. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It was like a hiccup burp. It was weird. Um, water ice is right. electric is two times. Uh, grass so is two a Kingdra, times. two Flygons, and a Salamence. I'm pretty sure he has two Salamence, so I think... Weavall is just destroying Drake's team. Oh no, he's got an Altaria. Okay, this... Right. This might change things. This is annoying to deal with. Okay, I might have been a little over-leveled for some of this. Maybe. Maybe just a little. Alright, so... Water ground is a pain. So what is grass is four times. So let me get a grass move on someone. Magical leaf. Who can learn this? Uh, Espeon. Ooh. I like that the fourth member of the elite four was the quickest and easiest of the four. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, so that's good. Water ground. So that covers two weaknesses, but the only ones in this match. Um, this is just like a regular Friday for you, isn't it, uh, Ampharos? Just walking down the aisle of the Elite Four. 
That's what you always do. <laughs> Big Dave is always happy to help. Such a champion. Overheat might be good to have. What is it good against or with? Well, no, none of them. Okay, never mind that. I honestly don't even remember Wallace's theme, so I'm kind of interested in hearing this again. I thought Earth Power was electric for a second. See, that's yellow. Why is that yellow? Mm. Yeah, it's, I think it's like Ooh. orange. Starting with a melodic. Big W for you. In grass covers most of these decently. So let me see if I can. No wonder I don't remember this music. This is uh, not very good champion music, in my opinion. Nah, that's all right. I just, I think Gary's champion theme just sets it at a really high level. Oh yeah, definitely. Green punch, no. And Cynthia's, to be fair, she has a great theme. Great personality, too. Mm hmm. I think I can keep Snorlax a fighting move. That'd be. Well, I forgot I mean, how much of a moves. healing machine his fucking melodic is. <laughs> Actually, I'll teach um, Raichu this fighting move. That'd be a good idea. I, I don't get why Mega Kick is normal. Oh, you played me. It's a it's a you kick. Played... Wait, is this is this special or physical? Special, okay. That's good. Raichu is my split, I believe. So So I might replace Surf with it. Okay, there we go. And that was rough. Okay. Focus punch. I could teach to Deli Bird. That'll mix up a little bit here. Big Dave, his team is pretty much exclusively water. You've got this. Special, special. What's my Deli Bird stats here? Who was the champion in the remakes? Was it Wallace again? Uh, probably it's Wallace. Wallace is more iconic. I feel. See, I don't know why I remember Steven. But I don't think that's right at all. Might have been Steven. I have no idea, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Big Dave, no. Physical. Get out of there. This is... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it was Steven. It was Steven with okay. a Mega Metagross. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. It's very fitting. None of them can learn during lunch. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I got a decent enough move set spread. I might teach someone Sandstorm because that sounds like it would be a really good to get some chip damage on them. Was Steven the original champion in Ruby and Sapphire? Yes, I believe so. Right. That feels like a much more fitting end than Wallace honestly because you see steven a lot in the game hmm. like wallace is a crazy difficult trainer so i understand why he'd be the final <clears throat> you know i might... i think it's also because champions tend not to be monotype users yeah i might still lose this uh, his his team is insane oh no big dave my one and only hope all I have left is Typhlosion. Yeah, I think I've just lost. <laughs> I think Ooh. Wallace beat me. Uh. Um, what should I replace with Sandstorm? Tri Attack or Flash Cannon? Real Tri Attack is really good because of the seven percent chance on the whatever. Um, Flash Cannon, I'm not sure. I know one guy who will be able to help you with that, and it's not me. Yeah. I, I want to keep Thunderbolt and Thunder because those are like really good electric I need. But I'm not sure about Flash Cannon and Tri Attack. Sandstorm feels really good on my Magnezone because it'll, it'll be able to uh, take the chip damage. 
and lay in some hits. Oh, okay. Oh, thank fuck for that. I hate Gyarados, man. This game makes me... Every time I see the word Gyarados, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, here it goes. Ludicolo. Yeah, I might just replace uh, Flash Cannon. I feel like that just makes a lot of sense. So let me do that. All right. Burned. Fuck. No. All right. I'm going to... Whoa, what was that? Sounds like I heard myself for a second. All right. And let's surf. And take on the gym. Yeah, but I'm not doing Glacia. I'm doing Wallace right now. Well, not Wallace. I'm doing the... What's his name? Juan. I think I'm finished. I can't heal anymore. This is bad. This is really bad. All right. There you go. Oh, I could. Nice. I'm. I was. Gonna, I was gonna make a moment. Oh, I'm gonna save here. No, I can't. Um. Let's see, I got my. I'm done for. All right. Two revives. Five hyper potions. I think I could do this. I set up Magnezone. I set up the Sandstorm at first. Then I'll go into Snorlax. No, I'll go to the Espeon after Magnuson paints. I think You're this will still be good. Alive. Don't give me hope. Don't give me Wish hope. Cast. Okay, that's not really good for my setup here. But this can work. So, Sandstorm. No. Fuck. Alright, kicked up. Man, that was so close. Got my sturdy. Oh. And, then do and here I was thinking I was cheesing it using the team that I had. Uh, well, 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 well. I don't think I have a single max revive, which would have helped so much. No, I don't. I don't even know how you get max revive. You gotta find them or buy them. Like, buy them in the GTS. Alright, Magical yeah, Leaf on the Wish Cast. This will probably kill, I think. Uh, a, rin a Rindo Berry. Of course you have a Rindo Berry. Why wouldn't you have a Rindo Berry? Well, I, I still killed you anyway, so take that. Well, all I can do is just keep going in there and trying again. I yep. don't really have any other options, so... Yeah, that's what I'm doing with... Uh... With Juwan here. I just basically taught some new moves to help uh, against them. Use the type chart, a dual type chart, to sort of get a good idea of like what does far more damage than other else. So that helped a good bit. All right. Uh, you use magical leaf, I think. But yeah, basically that's the best you can do, really. Just uh, change out the move, your mons like in order. What I usually do is I like to order them in what I'm going to send out. Sometimes I don't, but, you know. But it helps get an idea of, like, okay, so I, once he's down, I'll go with the next one, and then blah, 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 blah. The fall suit. Well, the crazy thing about Wallace is he's all water type, but he has a lot of dual types that make it difficult. So, like, his Ludicolo just fucking ruined me. So, for um, Ludicolo... His, the best moves you are best types you can bring for that would be flying poison and bug. Yeah, I'm starting to really regret not having Yan Mega with me. I think Yan Mega would have been a much better choice than Gengar. Yeah. Ingo was never really that useful in any of my playthroughs. I don't know why I brought it with me. It never really helped much. I just kind of swore by it. Ginger is okay. Outlook Kazam is way better. Oh, 
about to start getting lectured about how certain things can't level up anymore. Don't you have an outlook exam? Uh, I do, but I don't imagine it's very high level. Come on, King's wrote this time. What would you do? Uh. <clears throat> the only problem with this is uh, the rest of the Elite Four are fine. It's just I'm going to have to get through them every time I want to get back to the one fight. Uh, it sucks. Yeah. Juan's just annoying me. The max potions I are can the main thing that annoys really me. tell. He's he's giving you a lot of trouble. It's like it's just it's like I wouldn't mind it, but he's using max potions when he gets the Kingdra down to yellow. What trainer uses oh, wow. a max potion at yellow? Uh someone who's just a, a couple steps ahead, I guess. I guess. Uh, it's just annoying because you you do it after every time I get you through and I'm just ends up wasting the PP of my uh move. Now Snorlax is dead, and now I have to use a revive, and then I have to... Oh, God. It's just annoying. All right. Uh, Raichu, I'll send you in. You can do something here. Uh, use a Focus Blast. You have the move. You can use it. And it avoids the attack. Ugh. How about once more? You can do it. There we go. This will do a good chunk of damage. And it didn't do anything. Wow. Okay. This isn't going to plan this time. So, let me see. I'm going to revive my Snorlax. Delibird, you can take a hit here. I know you can. Alright, Snorlax is recovered. Of course you landed a hit on Deli Bird. You know, that's how it goes. Alright, um... Really should have changed out a move on a zoom roll. Really not good moves on you. And I'll use a Hyper Potion on Snorlax. Should you use Psychic? Why did I go for Thunderbolt? I'm slipping. I'm slipping! They're gonna catch you when you're slipping. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all catching up to me now. Alright, strength. You can do this. Alright, strength you again. Beat up while my team is still alive. Alright. Snorlax. You can do this. You're full health. You're good. You know you can do this. Kingdra doesn't have that much HP left. We're gonna heavy slam. <laughs> I know it's it does half damage, but I think you can land it. It'll do a lot of damage. Let's see what happens here. It didn't do much. Okay, well that didn't go to plan. Uh, Zen headbutt. This will do. This will kill. Prepared to kill. It is dead. Okay, so Crawdon. Uh, I can kill you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Snorlax leveled up. Nice. Alright, hammer arm. Two times damage. Good. These oh goddamn my God. berries. Alright, Crawdon's down. I get so much hope, and then I see a citrus berry kick in, and I'm mad Corbis all is over next. again. Okay. Well, I am going to use a Hyper Potion, because I am on 4 HP. Oh god, he still has his wall rain in the back. I hate that he saves that one last. Do you have any Grass types? Uh, it's currently dead. Well, it's not even Grass type, it's, it's Espeon with Magic Leaf. Well, get that Revive Bound, then. Uh, I used all my items. Oh. Yeah. So I wish that was an option in the menu. <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, I am probably going to die here. Let's see. Yeah. Alright. 
Yeah, this is a toughie of a battle. Okay. He's a, he's a real baddie, I guess you could say. <laughs> I guess you could say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what you'd say, right? Also, why are these two trying to walk in the path? What, what, what is that green Pokemon? They already left. Why are you blocking the path here? Do they not, like, move until I defeat the gym or something? That's dumb. Walking what path? Uh, to the right of the Poke Center. There's, like, two NPCs that were there because they you did the whole Rayquaza thing. And so it's like, now they're just, like, congratulating you. And I wanted to see what was in the house to the right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, they really don't want you to get that big whale medal. Yeah. That's the only thing see... that I know that was over there when I went and checked it out was there was a guy that gets oh, a lady. She gives you a big whale medal for thanking you for saving. Yeah, I just wanted to see like if there was any items over there that I could maybe I could use or something. <laughs> Anything to help. Oh my goodness. Walrein, you terrible, terrible bastard. These magic cups are annoying. I feel like I'm speaking your language right now. <laughs> yep. Sounds about right. What do you guys talk about here? Uh, nothing too crazy. Everything will be okay. Yeah, these people don't say anything. What about you people? What do you say? Uh, nothing. I don't like the way you said you people like that. I don't like that. Well, I mean, they're they're just standing here. One person's looking at a rock, just like doing nothing. Like, what are you doing? What are you talking about? A pretty Pokemon came down from the sky. Well, no, duh. I saw it myself. Why are you looking at a rock in the opposite Pokemon. direction? <laughs> it's like these people are just like, what? Are, like, what are you doing? All right, there this we go. Shadow Ball. Yeah, I wouldn't really uh, call Rayquaza uh, pretty. I mean, yeah, it's not really like like it is. It, there is a beauty to its design. Yeah, but it's... I just don't think that's like the definitive word I would use when talking about it. I would say it would be it's more, more like, like awesome. Yeah, awesome. Maybe a little creepy. There is a little creepiness to it. Um, scary. I could I could see. It is a sort I of. Wanna, I want to just quickly say when I say awesome, I'm not talking like a five year old. Whoa, he's so awesome. <laughs> I mean, like, like the you know, awe inspiring. Yeah, like, awestruck. Wow, like an incredible thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, he's so cool. <laughs> I mean, he is so cool, too. I mean, I can't deny he is, that. Yeah, he is. He really There's is. There's a reason why yeah. he's in Smash Bros. Brawl. I mean, as a boss, so. Oh, yeah. He was. That was a cool little moment. Yeah, see, that, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Space Emissary rules, man. And Diddy Kong uh, was in that battle. Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> you had to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, monkey. I hate Diddy Kong. I hate him with so much passion. Why do you heart. hate Diddy Kong? What? <laughs> He's just such a... I don't know. I just... I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just hate him. I always have. <laughs> man. I don't know what Diddy Kong did to twerp. you. Did he, he steal so, your you banana? Know what? He carries he carries twerp energy. Actually, that's a really good way for me to sum that up. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It, it, now, yeah, after being twerp you, energy. Now, after having being called, you know, smell you later and all that. Now you're having issues of every single twerp. I think you're putting what? down your own twerp energy. Hey, I'll have you know, I'm a real. Stinker, that's what you are. Stinker, that's <laughs> just, I couldn't remember what it was. <laughs> uh, Stinker, there's the word. Uh, what is Kingdra actually weak to? Uh, I have no idea actually. Let me check real quick. I, I think it's just like fairy type is anything I can think of, which obviously isn't in this. So, water dragon. Is weak to oh, dragon, well, dragon and fairy. Yeah, dragon and fairy. Everything oh. else is either neutral or uh, not very effective. Fire and water is not very effective, and what a pain. seal is not very effective. What a humongous pain that is. Yeah, that's why Kingdra is such a pain. 
Because it's like nothing works well against it. Yeah, because it is a dragon type, so it can kind of fend off the one thing that it's weak to in this. Mm hmm. That's why I don't like dealing with, uh, you know, ghosts with ghosts and dragons with dragons, because it normally backfires. Yep, big time. To be like, oh, yeah, mine is mine is super effective to theirs, but theirs is just a little better than yours, so it wins every time. Mm hmm. Man, this one character sprite down here, it's like, she is like. Thick. <laughs> All right, man, relax. <laughs> I am. Um, I gotta say, I'm really glad I used Weavile in this playthrough because I never have before, and I've really grown to appreciate it on a whole other level. It is so good. Yeah, Feebass is nice. Weavile, I said. Oh, we I thought you said Feebass. <laughs> I, mean, I saw Feebas. Feebas came on my screen. That's why I was like, "Oh yeah, Feebas. Yeah, yeah, yeah." No, no, Weavile. Yeah, Weavile is really cool. I actually, I, I think I had that engine yeah, for my playthrough once. Yeah, I think I did actually. It was like I like Sneezler, Sneasel, not Sneezler. That's that's. I like Sneezler. That's a good name. I think it's like a baby form. Sneezler is the Hisuian version or evolution. I think. Wait, that's real. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's real. Yep. I think that's I his name. There's a different evolution for... Yeah, it's... Uh... I didn't know about this. Yep. He's more closer Sneeze. to... Sneeze. Oh, my God. Ew! <laughs> it's always a love-hate oh, no. relationship. <laughs> oh, it's so long. <laughs> Why is it so long? <laughs> I don't, That's funny. I don't just, like, it's one of those where, like, the, the initial shock of seeing it is like, oh, it's so long and weird. But, like, it's it's good, but it's not great. I It's not Weavile. I, I like it because it is a tall mon. It's not, it's like, uh, it's, it, it's so, know. what it does in the game is it carries you up mountains. That's a little upsetting, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I feel about that. I like him. He's cool. He also has he has uh acceptable. I'll say that. He has uh he slays, to say the least or most. No. Uh, you slay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> now go kill Guan. <laughs> okay, I will. I'm heading up to his uh icy uh path again. His palette of frostitude. I, I sort of wish the puzzle like stayed solved so you didn't have to keep on doing yeah. it over and over yeah well i mean i understand why it couldn't though because it's a cracking floor yeah but i mean you could just make it so the the stairs stop being ice and so you could just walk straight up now that is true there is no reason they couldn't have done that oh yeah i remember why wallace sucks immediately i was like the whole time after i lost him i was like why was wallace so bad again i don't remember and then he sent out garros and i went ah this yep. <laughs> immediate <laughs> realization. Have a good night. Uh, Hope you yeah, had a good see time. See you later, Ryan. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. Earthquake. All right. Of Kingdra. Why would a Gyarados not have Earthquake? Uh, I don't know. Why wouldn't it? I'm done. Nope. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I'm, I don't, don't want to play anymore. It studied me again without using study. I'm sick of this. Stop it. Alright. Um, since I survived, I'm going to use Thunder because, you know, maybe I'll survive the next day. I do have... Wait, no. Sturdy doesn't work when I'm already damaged. So, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I survived. Holy cow. That surprised me. Wow. Uh, Alright. Um... Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't think I'm faster than Kingdra. Kingdra is like, eh, I don't know. Oh, I'll use another Thunder. Why not? Yeah, it killed me. I mean, I took, I got 50 damage off. I mean, 50% of its HP down, so that's better than nothing. Storm, I'm ready to pull out the hair I do not have. I swear to God. <laughs> right, Espeon, you are good to go, buddy. Let's hit them with a uh, magical leave. Survive, please survive, please survive. Super fat. Of course it is. I forgot that Gengar is a poison type. 
Classic. Yeah. I still don't get why there's so many ghost types for poison types in Gen 1. Alright, King Drew's down. It was a crit, too. Nice. Hey. Poison was a very common type in Gen 1. Yeah. I mean, I understand why it is very easy to attach poison onto anything. Magical leave this wall rain. Swipe. Please swipe. Please swipe. Please oh, swipe. you are. Oh, Ice Beam. Ooh, survived. It's poisoning. For the love of God, poison. Thank you. The melodic is poison. The, uh, the, the poison has been injected into the melodic. Hell yeah. Poison that sucker. Oh, I got frozen. Uh, turn one unfreeze? No? This sounds like an opportunity to use a uh, max potion. Unfreeze? No. Maybe unfreeze this. Four star. Unfreeze? <laughs> no. Ew. <laughs> Poison him again. That's not cool, bro. Why you gotta do that like that? Don't actually you can take like this one, Ryan. Don't do me like that. Don't, 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 don't. don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, revive my Big Dave Jr. I need him greatly. We gotta play that new um, that new game. That's uh, like uh, I can't even think of the name right now. What's that game? What's the game we played? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I don't know. I don't. I don't play games. Lethal Company. There we go. We need to play the other game that's like Lethal Company that just came out. Please don't get frozen and survive. Thank you. It's uh, it's popping off a little bit. I have no idea what game you're talking about. I can't think of the name of the newer one, but a lot of people have been talking about it, and uh, looks pretty cool. It also is one of those other, you know, spooky co-op sort of things. So, and it, we are approaching around October, so it would be a good, uh, well, almost approaching. Still got a whole yeah, other month, but, you know. Could not come soon enough. Wall Rain is down, thank God. Ludicolo. Okay. Uh, Krada, you're going like down. I... Right, Max Potion? No, I think a Hyper Potion would be fine for Big Dave. Yes, yes it would. So I, I have to rely on Big Dave. Big Dave. Ah, oh, Snowlax is down. Dang it. Sludicolo also has ice right. moves. Um, Raichu, you might be able to handle this. Revive Weavile. That's the way to go. go. Weavile was good. Focus Blast. Yes. All right, Crawdot is probably dead from this. I'm pretty sure it dies. It's dead, okay. So, now all I have to worry about is Wishcast and Vorbis. And I have three items I can use still. All Don't right. get knocked out. Please, I beg, survive this. Right, you, yes, I think you can survive we this. my boy. So let me revive. Oh, let me run revive. Uh, Snorlax, I think, will be be better of a pick so oh a whale lord uh oh that's flying water so you should be able to be able to take that out if you have electric what whale lord is flying i'm pretty sure yeah because it's a blimp i never would have known that yeah i'm pretty sure that is i mean i know it is a blimp that's what it is canon but i'm pretty sure it's flying as well whale i lord. think he's got a wall wall rain and a whale lord left so Okay, no, it's pure oh, wait, water. Shit. No, he has a whisk cash. I am done. I mm. am going to lose again. Yeah, whisk cash is uh Fucking damn it. I was so close. Actually, what does my other mons have here? Zoom roll. Do you have a mon that a move that can be good against him? No, right, yeah, you suck. Still need to get a better move on you. There's no way I'm winning. 
Focus punch, right. Deli bird, you might be able to work here. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. You son of a bitch. Critical hit. Oh, wait. I'm so happy for you. I thought that was rock. I'm so happy for you. I'm dumb. Typhlosion, I beg you to have a move that's not. Ah, oh, god dang it. It's... This sucks. This Keep fucking focus. sucks. You I was so close. So, I, I'm done. Alright, that ain't working. Oh, I didn't want to run. He's oh. not going to hit himself, is he? No. Earthquake, Typhlosion, one oh. shot. Yeah. Gotta use a potion. Oh god. Don't give me false hope. I hate when they give me false hope. Hit yourself, please. I will win if it hits itself. It didn't hit itself. I lost. Well, you're close. Got to yeah, I was. That was like literally, you know, like the little um, like markers for how much health they have. Yeah. It yeah, had like, like a marker and a half left. It was ooh. one shot away from losing. Fucking miss cash. Right. I, I don't... I don't actually know how to win this fucking league. This is insane. Don't avoid my attacks. God dang it. That's my, that's my biggest view. I yeah. need to figure that out. I need to reevaluate my team for a second here. Um, Gengar is not really contributing anything. If I can go. I'm gonna switch out to a zoom roll. You earthquake me, that's fine. I'm gonna hit you with a surf. Oh, you used a max potion. Of course you do. Yeah, Mega was really good. Um Surf. I mean this victory bell served me really well, but if I take the septile out, I feel like I'm just shitting all over my Hoen team. I, I just don't <laughs> want to lose anymore. Yeah, I feel that. Um, I might just use my Johto champion team because I'm looking at it like Espion and Victory Bell would be really good over God of War and Septile. All right, there we go. One more surf. Use Let's go full Rick. Johto. Let's see how that goes. Fuck it. I should have used the item. All right. Um, just because I'm, I'm on attempt three at this point, so... Yeah, I know how that feels. Hammer arm, come on. Ah, uh, all right. That's I don't even. I'm I lost count of my attempts really here. All right, let me rethink this. What mons do I have here that I could use? All right, Hoenn League, you've made me bring out the big boys. Mm. I'm not sure. Stash. What do I have in my bag here that I could use? I don't have any. I, mean, I have some money, actually. I forgot I battled some trainers. So I could buy some stuff. I need items, too, so. All right. Actually, can I sell some Pokemon? GTS. Actually, didn't I put some Pokemon up on the GTS? I thought I did. Let's see. Uh, your listings. Oh, cool. I have money I could take. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, nice. Oh, uh, they don't give it to you right away. You have to go like pick it up. Yeah, you have to pick it up in the mail. Um. No. Oh. That's fair enough, I guess. Actually, no, I have to go... Yeah, here we are. Uh, your listings. Here we go. Now I can claim them. Alright, there we go. Now I got a lot of money. Um, And what do we else have in the... GTS thing? I mean, I could buy a Mon that would be very useful. Do it. <laughs> I mean, I could. Let's see. Um, what would the uh, probably a dragon type because that's that's the one that will take down the Kingdra, which will be nice. It might have an ice move though. 
Yeah, but I could try to find something. What's what's a dragon type that's not effective on ice? It's or not get hit by ice. Let's see. Is there one? I I genuinely don't know. Yeah, that's what I want to see. If there is. Yeah, I can't honestly think of one. All right, let's see. Uh, well, you could just get a Pokemon with a dragon type move. That too. Let's see, dragon. Uh, Sceptile Sept learns quite a few dragon moves. So dragon. Let's see. Um, is there any move mods with? Oh, actually, how can I? Actually, Sceptile was a big part of why I was even able to win that league in the first place. Because, I mean, that gym in the first place because it's effective against quite a lot of it. Dragon mon that. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to look. Yeah. All right, ice. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a few. Uh, well, no, that's ghost, not dragon. There's some that are neutral, so that's good. So, uh, dragon ice, dragon water, dra uh, dragon fire, dragon steel. And that's it. So, what do we have in those types in this game? I can't think of any. I mean, what is Metagross? Metagross is a psychic steel. Psychic steel, okay. Oh, it's Salamence. Dragon flying? Yeah. Uh, where's the type thing here? Type, type, type. Um, gender, ability. Does not have type listing here? That's weird. Um, Pokemon assumes, uh... But it's um, not. Yeah, yeah, Mega should be fine. Oh, the tier. I mean, why don't I just search Ubers? What's it? Well, what's hey, it? if I beat it on this attempt, then my estimate of about three hours to finish Hoenn wasn't far off at all because we just passed the three hour mark. <laughs> three hours and three minutes. So now I have to win to prove a point. <laughs> All right, what's my point level that attempt? didn't 48. need to be proved? What's that? I was just checking the level caps. I need to make sure I can't go above that for my mom. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think it's like 48. Or something. Yeah, mine's 48, yeah. It goes up by a whopping 10 after you finish that. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> kind of, yeah. All right, uh, max level 48. And I'll Everyone say... in the league uses up to 54, by the way. But Search. That knowledge has not helped me very much, honestly. What's Gobbite's level or type? Dragon Ground. That is, I think, double weak to ice? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's four times. That's very bad. Um, I mean, there's some fire types here, which is not a bad. Garchomp, which is, you know, same thing. Um, I mean, the, these mods are pretty cheap, though. Like, this Garchomp, level 48, only 20,000. Oh, I know a dragon water type. Yeah, I, I know. I know one, too. Palkia! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Let's search that. Palkia. Maybe it's someone selling a Palkia. Maybe. <laughs> they packed it in, but maybe. Um, well, in my template here, um, or advanced search, it's not within the level cap I have. Uh, let me lower the min level. Uh, come on. Okay, I modify. Hello? Oh, wait, I see why. Oh, oh, and I just thought of a Dragon Steel type, too. You're not going to believe this. Oh, what's that? What's that? A Dialga. Oh. <gasps> Yo, I I'm gonna be honest. I only just now remember that those are those types. Uh, because I looked over at uh, chat and I was reading some of Ryan's messages that I must have missed earlier. <laughs> and he mentioned Palkia, and I went, "Oh shit, yeah, that one. There's one." Also, I went to type in Cedra, and I'm like, "Oh wait, I, let me check. It's evolve." And I type Sea King. Wait, no, no, that's not. It's it's Kingdra. <laughs> 
I, yeah, I guess you could also get a Kingdra of your own. <laughs> yeah, and, or I, I could. Never thought about that. Or I could get the Seedra on my own. Uh, or the Kingdra or Sea King. I mean, because that is also uh, another Pokemon. Uh, yeah. All right. A let's Kingdra see. of my own. Imagine. I mean, they're yes. selling them. Uh, my 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 life just cut to a montage. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Wow. All right, yeah, I could buy one here. At, oh, it's level 66. Can't buy that one. Oh, it's an alpha, too. Oh, no, 75. I remember using, alpha. in my first Infant Fusion playthrough, I remember using a horsey... Um, a level cap. What's the first version called? D D Dino? Dino, yeah. D yeah, I remember using a uh, horsey Dino Fusion... And I was like, oh, when this thing turns into a Kingdra Hydreigon, it's going to be so cool. It had no custom sprites the entire way through right to the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was not cool at all. Um... I, it did come out with a really good name, which was the reason I picked it as my starter, though. Uh, Horno. <laughs> That's funny. A very good name. All right, so uh, hidden ability not so good on this guy. This is damp. Oh no, it's gonna use earthquake. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, oh, its normal so... ability is sniper. You got powers up moves; they become critical hits. Um, this one is really good. It's a fifty-eight, so it's at the top of my uh, level cap. And those dragon pulls, surf, waterfall, and scald. That is good, and it's 36,000, so I will buy it. And I got Ooh, my... I'm now the proud owner. Of a sick of a Kingdra. Ford. A Ford Kingdra. Nice. This baby will take you miles. Imagine I just pat the roof of your Kingdra. <laughs> Alright, uh, wait, no, no, wrong entry here. <clears throat> Mail. I love when they send a Glalie and then use Explosion. It's really cool. Claim the party. My party's full. Uh, I still want to claim it, though. Come on. I can't swap out? Okay, well. Who are we on I didn't here? even notice that. What? That is so scummy. What is? Um, Gla Glacia. Wait, what the? I can't use the a... King Draw. Because apparently if the level cap is 58, it means that I can't be on 58. Oh, my God. I thought, no, no, my level cap is 58. Yours is 48. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry to inform <laughs> you of that. Uh, oh, that's, that's really unfair. <laughs> At least I still have money. I have still have money, so I can buy a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, God. so the scummy thing uh, is that... 48. Uh, they gave Glacia a... Um, Glalie with explosion and a normal gem. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, that thing is just an enhanced suicide bomber. <laughs> Basically, hey, what's this? What's the star mean? Oh, it's a shiny. Oh, it's five million. No, who wants a shiny that bad? Come on now. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, forty-seven. There's only one shiny I'd pay five million for, and that shiny Gotchomp. You're, oh, you're, ooh, you're in a premier ball. That's cool. I like when people have to squint and go, is 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 that is that a shiny you have? Or 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 you send it out and you go, hey, notice anything? And they're like, um, not right. really. All right, I'm buying you. you. Know, it's the shiny. And then they like hold you hold up like a color swatch <laughs> next to it, and you're like, "See, it's a different shade." All right, I bought this Kingdra. Oh, it's in a cool ball at least, but it does. It only has damp though. So wait, you have two Kingdra now? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Hey, speaking of Kingdra, Drake what? just sent out his Kingdra. You want a king draw? I'll send you the high level one. <laughs> I can't use it. I could actually use it, but no. It would bother me too much that it had the blue around it. <laughs> I'd feel 
<laughs> I'd feel unaccomplished. Um, okay. Kingdra, Kingdra, Kingdra. I was about to ask what this thing is weak to as if we weren't just discussing it. <laughs> um, I actually don't know if anything I have has a dragon move. Because, no, as I said, I don't think my Ampharos actually kept them. All right, so I am probably just going to replace my Azumarill with the Kingdra because, you know, it's like... Yeah. Direct the Meteor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, that didn't do very much at all. all you right. sacrificed your special attack for that? And... Man, beat up is a good move. Yeah, I like pretty it. good. Pretty good, pretty good. As long as all of your team is conscious, that is. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. King Drum. Yeah, th I think this should be good. Let me just make sure. I do have a move. I think I have Draco Meteor that I could teach my King Drum. I swear to God, if I lose to Wallace again, I might just storm out of my Owen. <laughs> I might just. <laughs> I feel you. This might be like Kanto again. I might just be like, you know what? I'm going to Sinnoh. I've had enough. All right. Here we go. Actually, no, I should give him Quick Claw so that I guarantee that I am faster. Ooh, it's delightfully devilish. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wait. I have to keep someone serve. That's the one thing I don't like about this town. Because I can't. I have to have serve on at least one Mon. Uh, yeah. Raichu, you... Mm. Get rid of Iron Tail. That wasn't really doing anything. I like that my Johto team have all hit the level cap in the time I've been attempting this league. <laughs> <laughs> they were all, like, in the low 50s, and I think they're all now at the level cap. That sounds fun. <laughs> um... No, Yan Mega's two levels below, and Espion is now also at the level cap. It just leveled up. Wow, that is amazing. So that's the thing is, even if I was to storm out, go do Sinnoh, I already have a level capped team that can't win. That's not going to make a difference. Right. Uh... All right, here we go. I think I'll, we're going to win this. If they don't send out Kingdra first, I'll be angry. But it will still work out. We will do this. What would he start with? He normally Wish starts... Cash, well, actually, course. he starts with a variety of things. Wall Rain has been quite common. Um... Alright, 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 alright. Right. I am going to swap out... To Snorlax, because yeah, I'm not doing with Wish Cash right now. Or Typhlosion is basically just a token thing to send out for me to revive something else. All right. I want to say a lot of the like encounter music in Gen Three is very weird. Yeah. Oh, he's starting with Whiskash. That's very merciful. Right. That gives me an opportunity to get rid of one of his worst. I don't have any really good healing potions, so I'm, I have to go into this, like, raw-dogging it. No potions. <laughs> raw-dogging it? Yep. What a statement. <laughs> did, you, did you see the thing about the new uh, raw-dogging game that came out? No, <laughs> what? It's, no. It's, a, it's called the Raw Dogging Simulator, where it's, oh, I, yeah? yeah, it's you. It's a, a a flight simulator, where you're in a plane, and it's simulating you in a plane, having to stare at the screen in the seat of the plane while you fly for so many hours, and the higher the score of you stay, sitting in that chair and looking at the screen gets you on the uh, higher leaderboard. So anything just passes the game these days, huh? Yeah, anything. <laughs> also, I want to mention my Espeon, which I haven't used 
this whole Elite Four until I got to Wallace. I thought I'd start with it just to see how it went. Mm -hmm. Espeon has half of its health, just over. Right. It has knocked out his Whiskash and his Gyarados. <laughs> wow. I love this Pokemon, man. King Dredd just took out Whiskash on my side. So swap back out to. Wait, no, he's going to use. Is he going to use a dragon move? Is dra are dragon moves amazing. effective on psychics? No. All right, then he's like, probably... They're just normal. It's not like not very effective. What about ice type? Average. On psychic? Yeah. No. All right, then I'm sending in Kingdra. I'm trying to predict what he's trying to use on my Espeon so I could go into my Kingdra. All right. Uh, use... oh, why did you use Dragon Pulse? It was a psychic type. Oh, my God. This is going too well. I don't trust this at all. Well, I'm dropping a Draco, so... And it went first. Ugh. Leaf Blade. Kingdra, Kingdra, Kingdra. Um, Magnazone? Yeah, let's go Magnazone. What is happening? Is my Johto team really this unhinged? I mean, I did say I was bringing out the big dogs, but damn, I wasn't expecting this. Ridicolo. Uh, acid. Nice. Use thunder. Come on. You can do it. Land it. Land it. Don't, I mean, don't kill me, but land this. Come on. Don't, don't be hit yourself. Thank you. It's a crit. Oh my god, that almost killed you. God. Magnazone, if you... Oh, excuse me. If you were a few levels higher... He's down to one, and I still got four left at full health. Um, Thunderbolt, maybe? It's just me and oh. Waylord. Hopefully you make it. I'm, that's it. I'm sending out Big Dave. I'm, I'm going to risk it all to send out Big Dave. Come I'm on, Big Dave. You can do it. Yeah. Big Dave has been getting disrespected and i have seen enough of it one shot this waylord with thunderbolt do me proud oh you did him like that that's my dave he be doing it like that i am finally free of hoen i mean i love hoen it's great i've had a wonderful time <laughs> all right kingdra is down what? Oh, all right. Need, all right. Espeon, I think you can do this. So you got two down, Espeon. I know you can take this. Magical leave this wall rain. Come on. Super effective. Don't get frozen this time. Thank you. Magical leave it again. I remember nice thinking move. that you were going to have to fight your rival after you beat Wallace and being like, no, no more, please. <laughs> uh, all right, you. Can you finish this? He's probably going to use a max potion, but hey, whatever. Just focus blast. Oh, my God. It actually focus blast. Warren's actually dying. It actually died. Holy cow. I was actually expecting that. All right, Gorbis. Gorbis is pure. Is Gorb? I think Gorbis is pure water. So this Thunderbolt it. Yeah. Yeah, it should, yeah, it is. This should kill. It didn't kill. It almost killed, but it, it's probably gonna use a max. Potion. All right. Here they are. Nice. And now I just the have Joto one more team once again, <laughs> feeding Ali for the for the third time. <laughs> I don't think any of my other regions. Do. Typhlosion, why are you doing that? Stop, stop doing that. Oh. Why does Typhlosion oh. do that? What's Typhlosion doing? It's. <laughs> it's. Idle animation is literally air humping. Oh. <laughs> it's got two arms out and it's thrusting with the arms moving inwards with each thrust. Why, why is it literally doing that? Well, it's a Nintendo GameCube. All right. Uh, oh, um, hey, Dad. Why are you actually home? 
Go back to your gym. <laughs> Wait, have they actually put the Battle Frontier in this? Seems like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might actually win this. <gasps> that Paralyzed was actually clutch. I think they actually put the Battle Frontier in. Yo! I won! Hell yeah! Hey, we both won! <laughs> nice. Well, one, two different things, but hey, I won. Yeah, but that's the, you know, we still made progress. Right? Yeah, yeah, finally, at the same time. Thank God. I, w I was, like, literally down in my, like, in the trenches with him. Oh, thank God. Now I could use my I other Kingdra. Um, red or blue? I prefer Latios, which is the blue one. Oh, wait, they actually implemented that? Yeah, I actually got the pick. I think that's your roaming legendary. Ooh, I'll, uh, so what color did you pick again? The blue one. I'll Latios. pick the red one. Latios is the blue one, right? Uh, yeah, I think. I mean, to be fair, it didn't say, do you want Latios or Latios? It said red or blue, so I picked blue, so. Uh, let me look. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that's blue. Latios. Yeah, that's blue. So I'll pick Latios because I actually, or, you know, the other one. Uh, because, I, you know, red. <laughs> Thank God I beat him. Why are you giving me the national decks? I already have it. Uh, <laughs> what? Because, buddy, I have a Amphros behind me. Why are you giving me the national decks? Oh, thank God I beat this. Now I can just head to the victory road. I can bypass everything like you told me about, and then get up yeah, there. Yeah, you can get through that really fast. I thank don't God. know how bad you're gonna want to fight the elite for, but. You can. Yeah, I can. I just want to do at least one attempt. And if not, I'll save it for like another time. <laughs> like I come back and say, yeah, Hoenn, I hated you. I'm gonna, for the battles, I'm this, you know. Uh, listen, I have, I, I'm gonna be honest. I really had a fun time with Kanto and I had a really fun time with Johto. I have not loved Hoenn. <laughs> yeah, me neither. It, it's I honestly have not rough. I enjoyed this nearly as much. It was rough, and that's probably because of it being so old. They oh my god, what? What? I just went to mom to, like, <laughs> go get healed, and apparently if you go and you see her after you beat the pedal bug gym, she gives you an amulet coin for beating your dad. Oh, nice. I never knew that. <laughs> All right, so I want to actually no. Let me get my new king dress since this king dress poopy. I mean, he was cool, but he was poopy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Mega doesn't know fly. Um. All right. Um, my fifty-eight king dress, which is at the level cap, and actually I might bring in my Blastoise is actually one level above the cap. That's funny. Sure, since I, it was already difficult, I'm gonna bring in a Venusaur. Um, I guess I'm manually going the slate port, they said. Uh, I'm thinking about you bringing Jolteon. That'd be a nice instead of Raichu. I have liked this color palette for the overworld a lot more than the orange we had before. <laughs> yeah, that orange was bad. Wow, someone with a Gigalith behind them. That's such an odd Pokemon to choose as, like, your follower. All right, there we go. I think we're good. No hate, but just very strange. Yeah. 